keeps clear. Tonight at 11. Doom! It's a plan! And I'm angry! I'm not a slave! I've broken the conditioning! It doesn't work on me! I'm primitive, I'm real, I know the enemy, and if we can have the spirit of normal it's humanity clear. spread, it's over for the globalists! Break the conditioning now! Excuse me. This is not it's a plan. the InfoWars nightly angry. news. I'm not a Where the answer I've broken the conditioning. to 1984 it doesn't work on me. is not I'm I'm $19.95, real. The... plus shipping and handling, but the answer is to try and understand the double battle boot crap, the double speak, and the Orwellian wonderland we now find ourselves in. So sit back and relax as I take you through a real alternative look at the news and so-called alternative media alike. Enjoy. Keeps clip. Oh, alrighty, uh, the tubes. How he's doing? Another one of Kips Clips. Welcome to Not the Infowars Nightly News Live. Um, and tonight it'll be mass awakening or mass manipulation. Um, as always with Not the Infowars Nightly News, it's the original alternative look at the alternative media. Skeptical about the skeptics, um, and watch the motherfucking Watchmen because somebody's got to do it. So, um, I'm trying to. Join a parallel with the internet rebranded truth media. I mean, it's it's got truth on it. It's got to be true. They tell you about Edward Bernays and then brand older stuff. True. This is the truth pill. Take the red pill. It's the truth pill. And I'll take all these lotions and potions. It will make you well. Anyway, but I digress. So, uh, mass awakening, mass manipulation. Be looking at the so-called uh, alternative media and having a look at um, their blatant hypocrisies, double speak, um, blind spots, um, obvious blind spots that you must sit there and go, either this guy's a backward moron uh, and has no, st uh, 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 or isn't being honest here. So, uh, I like to point that out, not only from the BBC, but from RT. Um, it's, I like to call out uh, the Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man Randy Savage is maybe not really hitting each other over the heads with chairs. Um, it's Burger King and McDonald's. I've got this further down my list, but I'll go into it. It's Burger King and McDonald's fighting uh, for the technology to lock down the, the coming uh, dictatorship. We were talking about this last night. It's nothing to do with a, a technocracy. Doesn't has nothing to do with technology. It's more the technocrats. The word comes the etymology. The word is from technocrats, and the technocrats are people with technical knowledge of things, bookworms, people that have been at university, and then. And go straight into the top job of learning, work, running the country's farms, NHS, so on and so forth. And um, they've got no practical experience of these industries or anything that they then go on to run. Although they've got all the technical experience. Um, uh, 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 although, like... Of course, like the ancient Greeks, but when they had farmers in charge of the farming, it wasn't so much a technocracy, but I'm sure they still used abacuses, which was the technology of the day. Um, anyway, so, mass awakening or mass manipulation, you make up your own mind. Everybody's telling you who to hate, why to hate them, and what for, all the media out there, and a lot of even the, the, main, the, the alternative media as well. Um, knowingly, unknowingly participate in the echo chambers of the unsolvable Rubik's Cube, as I was talking about the other week. The un... The un the, the riddle me this, riddle me that. Turn up next week and I'll riddle you some more. <laughs> um, nobody's on a pedestal over anybody else and everybody's brain is the same and 
given the right conditions and the right prompt, and everybody can understand things in their own level, I, I believe. Anyway, so, a um, couple of points are going into this week. Then, Rebel Against the Controlled Rebellion. Um, that's the, the sort of a meme that I've been going on about with the, the Wag the Dog. Wag the Dog meets internet media. That it's a very simplified way of explaining um, what I do here on a Tuesday, as well as comparing it to the so-called mainstream media. One of the same, different medias that they deliver their media through, <laughs> believe it. Uh, medium, <laughs> the, the different medium they deliver their media through. Uh, just a wee coincidence there. Um, they're fighting for where the chips lie. That builds in with the, 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 the technocracy. Um, a, a, um, a good way... Um, <laughs> a good way to sort of a, a, simple, a simplification way of the, the, the technocracy and a McDonald's analogy is where now in McDonald's all you do is need one person who's went to uni got a PhD in McDonald's and they'll rule all the robots. This is pretty much in practice. It's to a certain level in Glasgow and different branches where they've turned McDonald's into Argosies. So you turn up, I'll have this, this, you get a number and you go over there. There's still a human connection if you want that. But alternatively, and this is where the um, this is where the applied psychology comes in. This is where the technocrat goes, right, okay, I know people actually want to buy off of people, but it costs us money. How do we get them to go up to this touch screen and figure, because nobody likes doing that first, because everybody's like, I don't know how to fucking do this, I don't know why I look stupid, order the wrong fucking thing, I'm not familiar with this. There's only one way of getting you familiar with that, it's like by um, applied psychology and making you actually engage with that shit. Um, so, um, th this is in practice in some McDonald's in, in Glasgow. Um, a few of the boys in that were talking about the self-service checkouts that are, are, and this was guys down in England, and I don't know if it's different Scotland than England or maybe inner city suburbs, I really don't know. Um, but pretty much, pretty much every supermarket I go into in and around Glasgow had self-service tills. Um, some of them, are the, the self-service tills are, are like more prominent than the old man ones. Um, the buses now take, not only can you get your bus ticket on your smartphone, um, and you get a wee fucking... <laughs> you get like a wee square barcode and you scan it. Um, you can also um, pay contactless on the bus now. Everything's moving cashless like that. Um, there's a financial advantage to paying cashless with the bus tickets um, in Glasgow. And the, that's again, that's the applied psychology the bus companies are using, the financial incentive to, to get the, the rats to. Um, turn the hamster wheel that way, and McDonald's is using the, uh, the incentive of, do you want to get your fucking food, slave? <laughs> Standing there like a prick waiting for some fucking human to come up while they're all walking about reading lists. They're like, what kind of bizarro fucking retard designed this system? Oh, that's right, a technocrat. Maybe over time, when they get the slaves retrained as to how to engage with your muck meat burger making facility, maybe things will go a wee bit smoother. But right now, when the transition is happening, those McDonald's are fucked up. You don't know if you're in Argos or you don't know if you're in McDonald's. You can smell burgers, but you feel like you're waiting for a mouse. It's crazy. And, and not a real mouse, not a pet shop mouse, I'm a computer mouse. But, anyway, I digress. So, <laughs> the technocracy um, is rule by fucking rule book where morons who have never engaged with any of this shit on the ground and never applied... And, and for a technocracy to, to work, you have to have good rule followers. You know what I mean? You have to get these humans to be almost android-like. Android Oh, the robots are going to kill you. What about the men 
Fucking programming the robots. Yeah, but the AI! Look how human it looks! Dabu7, that's a real woman launching a computer game. K kidding, not to be a android. It's real! Well, somebody emailed it to me, I've bought it! Anyway, I digress, so... Talk about that. Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> and this is to go in with a Mike Rivera. I've gone, I'm going to turn Mike Rivera a new arsehole here, but this is brilliant because it leads in with all this barrage of shite coming from all angles and you're left just... The, the, the irony of a global nationalist movement is crazy and lost on the nationalists themselves. Right, why the fuck are you concerned about what's happening in Sweden? You're, you're in America, you can buy 10 million AR-15s, build bunkers, have a militia and all that, and you're worried about Muslims invading Sweden? I'm pretty sure Sweden get enough guns to fucking look after themselves. Anyway, I digress. Uh, Donald Trump has, the, uh, has done his, I don't know how to word this, but I'm working on it. Donald Trump has arted, has, has art of the deal, his supporters. You know, everybody goes on about, you know, everybody that's still running, uh, like, uh, 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 interference and cover for Donald Trump. Like, Mike Rivero still apologising him, still supporting him, sucking his cock, and then saying, Oh, but I'm so disappointed! I wanted Trump to be real! <laughs> I thought he was a real boy! Um, so Donald Trump, his art of the, art of the deal to his supporters, Promised them fucking Everest and delivered fuck all. I, I, I don't know. And then his supporters have got no self awareness. And, and his supporters to even like support Donald Trump who say he's art de de dealing like. Um, and because the support for Donald Trump, the way he's dealing with North Korea and stuff and all that. Twitter war. One, two, three, four. I declare a Twitter war. I think that even fits in how many of dumbed down characters you can get in Twitter. But um so talking about Donald Trump has art of the deal his supporters and then Boris Johnson's dad turning up on ITV I'm a celebrity. Coincidence I think not. In fact this wee guy what do you think? Um I don't know if I can find this. I bet she I can't find it. Coincidence? I think not! He doesn't think so, right? So, well, and, and you want to even sort of, this blew my mind tonight as well. It didn't surprise me at all. Every time you scratch beneath the surface of these twats, you sort of a, get a better perspective as how they fit into the whole ball game. So let's go and look a wee bit into Bobo fucking Johnston's lineage. What do you think his name is? Johnston? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Anyway, so in the evening, one and all, welcome a mass awakening or mass manipulation. You decide, the question mark is there, not the InfoWars Nightly News. Um, I'll bounce into the chat in a wee second. Um, at any point, if you appreciate um, through just an alternative way of looking at stuff, feel free to stick a wee thumbs up. Apparently, it really helps. It really helps me. It's much appreciated. You can share it with your friends, family and foes. Um, and you can help the show grow, and I, am, this is going to be a nightmare with this mousse, but anyway, help the show grow um, by sharing it with your friends, family and foes, because nobody else is going to do it, so please help the show grow. Links below if you want to show any support, feel free to use the Patreon and PayPal buttons down below. Big thanks to everybody that has, and people that upped their donations on the Patreon, and people that helped out in the PayPal and stuff. Um, that stuff helping towards a decent tripod again and a camera and live streaming ability for longevities so look forward to that within the next two weeks definitely um so in the evening one and all all the social medias down below as well you just need to click on the show more um you've got two youtubes make sure you subscribe to both of them I think it's early December, I'll get my Kips Clips normal channel back for live streaming and I'll probably be going back there, so make sure you tune in. Um, there's also the DTube and Steam It, everything else will be going up there and the bit shoot as well. Uh, there's the face bag and Twitter, Ridiculizer for the music, go and check out Ridiculizer's tunes there. 
and on the band camp as well and there's the community page and the show event page so make sure you check out all that thumbs it up share it help it out all right so let's have a wee look at what's whoop let's have a wee look what we're going on to tonight if i can see my moose loose about this house and i can feel the sneeze coming on but i'm going to fight it uh, so anyway uh oi nonce <laughs> Who's this wee tune that, um, what's his name, I'm trying to remember, Brian Harvey's put together for, uh, on the YouTubes, uh, anyway, I know, I'll just play it, I'll play it later in a wee second, uh, Retracted Tonight, The Truth About RT America, right, so again, like, um, um, for lack of um, stealing a phrase, that, uh, anyway, Devil's advocate with this bad boy, right? So let's see RT America's American dudes, we call it the guy's response to this. <coughs> and um, let's just add a different layer of thinking perspective on it, whether it's right or not, that's up to you to decide. Um, I, I just look at this and see double barrel bullshit. Um, and I, I fail to see that how people can end up on RT, on RT America, this stuff happening and then not having the knowledge and wisdom of how the industry works and how this whole propaganda information work is pan, uh, information war is panning out, um, still play, oh, I don't know what's going on, I'm just on RT. Um, I, I mean, like, just at least go, right, I'm, uh, 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 they don't stop me saying what I want to say and I'm taking their paycheck. I'm aware that they're fucking demoralising the citizens of America. I'm down with that. <laughs> uh, or the West, I'm down with that. Because that is, in, in reality, is what's happening in part of this geopolitical world war information war that's going on. And people that aren't aware of that, either are useful idiots uh, or just... Uh, making too much money and don't want to rock the boat don't rock the boat baby rock the boat don't rock the boat baby because uh, that applied psychology again works in the information war you spread the message out there people don't even know why they're parenting it one thing or the other right it spreads civil disobedience in one side or the other and i'm not excluding the west from doing this in the fucking the russia i guarantee that that's why russia i guarantee they're doing that in russia that's why I suspect that Russia flung out all the NGOs, got them to register as foreign agents, because they were. They were in Russia sparking discontent, opposition parties, mass protests, civil disobedience, uh, shining a light on the corruption that goes on in Russia. Um. RT doesn't do that, but they shine the light on the corruption that goes on in the West. There is the imbalance, and if people can't see that imbalance, they're a useful idiot, or they're living in ignorance. So we'll have a wee look at that. Uh, this is who's behind the coming wor World War Revolution. This is uh, Somebody left a comment on this a few days ago, blast for the past. Three, three years ago, we're going to have a wee look at what, uh, what I was saying three years ago, man. It's quality doing this shit. Uh, Denzel Washington, I think it was the Ridiculizer, how you doing, buddy, that sent that in, and uh, sent that in, that was sharing that on the Skypes earlier on, man. So, I heard somebody talking about it. I hadn't seen it. So, brilliant, mate. Thanks for that. And bounce into a few quickies. These are just a shoot few news stories. Uh, Bitcoin, um, open information war. This is talking about them sort of uh, uh, um, blocking RT and stuff on the Googles. Uh, the red fear, the, the Chinese fear porn that's happening in the West right now. Um, China's, a, a, whether you think China's a threat or not, the fear porn is to project them as a threat, to allow the powers that be to get away with more aggressive actions towards them. Um, it's as simple a principle as the World War I propaganda, dressing up the opposition as the big fucking mean monkey coming over and taking your woman away, uh, clubbing them over a head with a stick and taking your woman away. It's that same psychology. World War, a what war? 
if you just look at all these wee sort of a br bushfires that's going on around the world, a wee, a wee coo, do you know what it's like? It's like the geopolitical players of the world are singing um, Old MacDonald and they're at the part of the song where they've got a, a coo coo here, there a coo, there a coo, everywhere a coo coo. Old Mac, old New World had a farm, e -I -E -I -O, with a cuckoo here and a cuckoo there, here a coo, there a coo, is it really a cuckoo? Old MacDonald had a farm, all oh, these militaries just bouncing up with tanks and all that, putting guns out, McGabby resigned, would that be because of the tanks pointed at his fucking head? Or would it just be because he's bad, sort of a weak Hitler moustache? Got to fucking respect a man that can fucking rock something that's almost like a Hitler-esque moustache. You know what I mean? Um, but uh, you don't fuck with the Commonwealth, McGabby. Don't fuck with the white man in the Commonwealth. Britain will come and lay you out. Might take five years, might take ten years, might take fifteen years, but they'll get your ass. Um, and they did. Um, I'm secretly a McGabby agent sent here to... Nah, God knows, man, if he was a bigger dick than the rest of them. Who knows? Never met the cunt. But what I do know is it's the neo... We got bad press of him over here in the UK predominantly because um, of his anti-neo-colonial attitude and my humble opinion uh, whether how much of it was real fake. I don't know. I was knee knees deep in that Zimbabwe. Or Rhodesia, I used to believe. I be, don't quote me on that. I believe it used to be called something else. The bread basket of Africa, that for some weird reason is pure natural and um, and um, natural resources. And then I was listening to some of the bullshit the day. It was like McGabby, <laughs> McGabby blamed some of his flaws on the British. And it was like his economy dived. I was like, yeah, I know, the British, to get McGabby back, but they've never had tried to use their influence worldwide to drive Zimbabwe's economy into the gutter, to try and, to, to try and starve the population to make McGabby's support fucking fail. I'm sorry, until somebody can speak to me like an adult and admit that was a genuine, what would it be, MI6? Uh, foreign office, whoever controls the Commonwealth, fucking slaves. Uh, if if nobody can admit to me on a on a one to one mano mano level, that's what the British policy was there. I'm like, don't, don't talk shit. You can argue whether it was fucking just two dickheads arguing about who who's the best enslaver. Um, but the British policy was to kill fucking Zimbabwe's economy, which they successfully done, which killed a lot of people, but as always, those fucking slaves, not the fucking cunts that they're getting this to. It's again part of the, inf it's, it's the war for hearts and minds, isn't it? The war for hearts and mind that's very well known in the Machiavellian world, right? Um, but the, the the modern day version of the Mac, uh, the war of heart of minds is the information war. It's the meme war. It's it's about um, convincing the people that you're the better person when they're they're all dicks. Anyway, I digress. So we'll be having a look at that. Then we'll be having a look at the Sweden agenda, right? And this has been something that I've been. Uh, uh, what's Cataloging, that's the word, cataloging for probably about a year now with the undeniable correlation between the ISIS attacks and all the rest of the mass manipulation stuff from both sides of the, both, all sides of the geopolitical bullshit um, with regards to the elections that have went on, going on, continue to happen, the mutation of Brexit that's continuing to happen to this day, all this stuff, um, the, the, the correlation, the, the, the correlation uh, between the ISIS attacks and all these uh, elections that are happening 
round all of Europe, from Hungary to Sweden to Netherlands to Belgium to Britain to France to Spain. A few have missed out there as well, more that I don't even know about as well. Um, and again, this is the irony of the nationalists rocking up and talking about Sweden uh, and Mike C.I.A. Rivero are like, go into this, this guy talks about being part of NASA and putting fucking spaceships on the moon and he's up there going, Sweden's Collins milk a heat symbol. Fucking, uh, and it, like, if you listen to him as well, he's like, yeah, Sweden under attack by the Muslims again. Paraphrasing a wee bit, but just a wee bit. But blindly rhyming and repeating the most retarded statements ever without any investigating. Without even going, hold on a sec, that sounds stupid. Let me actually scratch beneath the surface of this, right? And I'll blow this out the water within like, what, four or five clicks? Ten minutes? Not even ten minutes anyway. So, fuck you, Mike. Um, and Richie... Russian Agent Allen, and again all these people just backing RT up to the hill, cannot call a spade a spade. Um, Iran done 9-11, it's true people, it's true, oh hold on one wee second, oh, what the fuck happened there, oh wait, man, hold on. I know how to fix it. Let me see how I'll do this need. Activate. Reactivate. Reactivate. And there we go. Everything's a fine again. Um, right, so what was I even talking about there? I forgot, but all I do is need to go into my show playlist. Uh, Iran done 9 11. Yeah, I'm actually not joking. This is on Fox. They're reframing this shit. And Subway. I don't know. Just again, it's always weird occult shit when people get locked away you know like the, the Chilean miners bounce the head and now these submarines whether it's just a distraction and there's a morbid curiosity with humans getting caught up with that or something but it's always draws my curiosity a wee sort of accent then we'll bounce then we'll finish with all the prisoner of your own mind bullshit right from how endgame film exposed the ai take over alex jones uh, <laughs> uh what would happen if yellowstone exploded what would happen man well i don't know man stick stick it what would happen if uh, you stuck a firework lit up your ass would it go off and would you explode go and try it out in fact, live your life! <laughs> live your life being free or fucking. Just, I don't know. Uh, Union of Concerned Scientists World of Coming Apocalypse. Ah, we're all gonna die! Uh, 33 often in the media. Oh god, oh man. Ah, ever, ever, ever wondered if. I understand it's just a number, right? And it only gets the power that people give to it, man. You can have the wonderment of the significance that other people hold it in, but don't give it power. Anyway, I don't know, do what you want. Fucking, I don't give these motherfuckers any of my power. Um, then, because I've got hundred. Oh, the plague update. Yeah, that's right, folks. 2017. Yeah, I'm running out of new conspiracies. Yeah, yeah, go back, fucking go back in. Tonight we're going to conspiracy like it's 1999. Oh man, there is a song in that. Tonight we're going to bullshit you like it's 1999. Your computers are going to explode. The Illuminati, secret cabals, the unnamed globalists. Apart from the political ones, of course, and it sort of it looks like I'm taking a political side, but the only people I name are political opponents of my supporters. Arr! Anyway, that's enough for that. Um, so, a prisoner of your own mind. Uh, there's Opus 30th. Um, Mummies and Jews. Brought to you by the Jew Pachenik that's in the ear of Jonesy Boy for years and now is in the ear Adam Curry of the Got A Fucking Clear Agenda show. <coughs> then, as I said, promised Bobo Johnson's uh, Linridge 
which is so interesting, by the way, so interesting. So anyway, uh, I was just checking out some of the bear hugs and all that going about prior to the show kicking off. So in the evening, one and all, thanks for joining. Again, if you do appreciate the show for whatever reason, shits and giggles, or an alternative way to look at this, feel free to stick a wee thumbs up. Much appreciated. Share it with friends, family, and foes. Help the show grow, because nobody else is going to do it. Links below to sh show some support with the Patreon and PayPal button if you get any value out the clips. Uh, and the social medias, two YouTubes, DTube, Steam It, BitChute, Facebag, Twitter, Ridiculizers, YouTube, and Bandcamp for the music community page and the live show page. Check it all out. Turbo Duck, Truth and Doubt, Apollo B in the evening, one and all. As you can see, this mouse is looking black for some weird reason. Turbo Duck, Gareth, oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, Manos in the evening, one and all. Um, Blazing, how you doing, my man? Society of the Spectre, how you doing, Gary? Uh, Paula B in the house, how you doing, Paula? Uh, Mary, how you doing? Uh, Blazing, uh, Jonathan Rainey, Vadum, Blazing, George Anderson, Gareth, Paula B. Chinny was in earlier. Chinny, I've got that clip up as well, buddy, so if you are in the house. Feel free to come and check it out. Um, I need to look over there to find my mouse at points. Um, right, so thanks for joining. One and all. Um, now let's get on with the bull crap. Um, doo -doo, what's first in the hip long line? I'm going to have to sort that out, I think. Oh, I don't know, man. Eh, hey, oi, nonce. Oh, fuck. Oi, fucking dick. Clicked along. Right, um... Oh, that is no good. Oi, oi, nonce. You better leave them kids alone. Leave them kids alone. You better leave them kids alone. Oi, oi, nonce. You better leave... Now... I do have a soft spot for Brian Harvey when he went batshit crazy and started smashing up his album Platinums and stuff and I think he was saying fuck the Illuminati and stuff man um, I can't quite remember what it was but he left a positive comment on one of my videos or something and I was ranting and raving about some stuff man that's when I sub to him and I see the videos he puts out every now and again so I just heard that and I was like ah fuck it um, right, I'm going to play this and then I'm going to have to change my mouth cursor Otherwise, I'm gonna go no, I'm gonna go no. Nonce. You better leave them kids alone. Leave them kids alone. You better leave them kids alone. Oi, oi. Nonce. You better leave them kids alone. Leave them kids alone. You better leave them, leave them kids alone. can see my mouse on the screen. I can see my mouse on the screen. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Um, I don't know if he's going to stick that out, but um, you can s And unfortunately, man, like, that's also a good sort of a... God, it's also a good sort of a... It's a good example of how... Um, getting caught up in the Peter Geddon can happen to everybody. Um, I don't know. Everybody has meltdowns and break breakdowns. I mean, like it's, it's no surprise. Check the fucking. It's the quickening. Look at the world around us, man. It's mentally exhaust. It can be mentally exhausting to exist and engage in this world. Um. 
but not impossible. Anyway, I don't know. I wanted to touch a wee bit on that. I thought it was a wee bit funny. Uh, play the Denzel Washington thing. Hmm, no, it should be if you but if you if you don't read the newspaper you're uninformed. Uh, if you believe the newspaper, you're misinformed. Because you can read the newspaper and not be misinformed because you can read it like a comic book strip. You can interpret it. <laughs> you can interpret it like the hieroglyphs that like it is. Think about it, right? The pharaohs still speaking symbols. One of the effects is the need to be first, not even to be true anymore. So what a responsibility you all have. Look at this android. It's real. Look, it's so. <laughs> to be. To tell yes, it's selling a computer game about a real life looking android, but it's so much real. Dabo 7. Android eyes open. She'll get good at, Inclu including BS. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Very true, very true thing. Um, but more, lots of things can be habit forming. So the more you like yourself, the easier it gets. But you heard me. Does that make sense? You heard me. Anyway, thanks, days. For sharing that, my man. Let me th see. Um. Oh, right to YouTube. Um. Three years ago. Pork wantons. Thank you, my man. Great info. Two days ago. Remind me of this clip. Uh, this is who's behind the coming world revolution in the Knights Templar French Revolution 2.0. So, um, I would even go back there and, like, I can see the general direction I was blown in. I would disagree in the sense that, well, it's not all evolving around there. There's different entities that are blown in the wind and obviously, like, friction and whatnot. Um, but... Um, definitely the, 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 uh, I'm, I'm framing it as the Knights Templar there because the Knights Templar's home is the city of London. Um, you can break it down a lot of different ways. Um, but their gang sign still flies very much. Um, it's the centre of the bar. And laws we pretty much know it worldwide, which is pretty an influential thing to have. But anyway, uh, I just thought that was quite relevant. French Revolution 2.0. But even back then, I wasn't aware of the phrase that I came aware of through that guy. Ah, oh, fuck. Wood, Woodford, Woodford, Woodford? Oh, fuck, I can't remember now. I think it's Woodford. It's in there somewhere, I'm sure. Um, and he was talking about how it was known as the Great Fear in the French Revolution. And that just... Before that, the, the, the theory of that was resonating with me. And because it... Un Not because I understood, because I came at the French Revolution from a sceptic's perspective in the sense it was controlled it was it wasn't the peasants rising up and killing the ac aristocracy it was <coughs> it was a controlled burn like was happening just now to a certain degree um to bring in the new new technology aka 
the guillotine back then. But uh, the, the great fear that which happened in the French Revolution, the, the analogies between that and what's happening worldwide through the medium of TV and, and all sides, by the way, because all sides are fighting for your loyalties using fear. Um, they want you to fear the other side more than they fear them. So you go run into the... You go run into Big Daddy that's going to beat you up less than the other cunt. Anyway, so thanks for that comment. Torque Wartons. Wontons makes me hungry now. Um, and let's get on to this. So, some of you might have heard RT America. Right, so, thanks, uh, Chinny, for the video, by the way, I wasn't aware of this. I went there and I think I watched the first five minutes or so. Maybe got a wee bit further deep into it and then I was like, nah, I'll keep it for the show. But I'll get a wee bit deep in this, right, and let's see, um, other than, because th th you'll see the theme running through the show here, or a few of the so-called alternative media outlets um, basically running interference, running cover, backing RT up, uh, not, and, and Matt, from my perspective, not calling a spade a spade, right, and, and, and pretty much trying to laugh and mock at sort of a, what I believe to be the reality of what has happened, and I'll, I'll go into that, um, and, and people... People can agree or disagree. This is just the the, the 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 this is the conclusion I've came from by using my own discernment. Erica, the network, and and trying to simplify all this fucking shit because everybody's out there to bamboozle you with bullshit when it's so simple, so simple. Um, rebel against the control rebellion. Look after yourself, man. Go out there, uh, guerrilla warfare or this shit for yourself. I mean, you need to go out and fight and get any war footing. Um, this is the best, and this is a good analogy actually. Um, to, to to make sure you don't get eaten by the bear, you don't have to be able to run faster than the bear. You just have to run faster than the next cunt. I'm sorry, I don't want anybody to get run uh, eaten by the bear, and I'll warn as many people as I can. But I ain't hanging about to get eat with the bear for a take to my fucking feet. Uh, take to my heels and run away. Um, that, that's the best analogy I can do. And, and then run away and, uh, and to my own happiness, the, the centre of my own world, the centre of my own reality, um, where I can try and manifest things that I want. ...that puts out this show has been forced to declare itself a foreign agent because it's funded by Russia. Now, this has never been... Right, I, I mean, like, to even just them sort of a laughing and unable to understand that these are getting labelled a foreign agent because he's pretty much are. These are funded by the... Like, for example, for me, for me... The BBC that use the BBC in foreign countries that produce TV programs, they're a foreign agent in another country. That's the way I break it down. Russia today, the clues in the name, and a foreign country producing programming and not Russian and English, predominantly not for Russian audience. I'm gonna say yeah. They are a Russian agent. Where you say it's potato patata and it's tit for tat getting them to register as an agent or not. But just this wee fucking long haired fucking dumb ass American. Now, think, is he stupid? Or does he just not want to rock the boat? Or is he a useful idiot? Is he a useful idiot? Does he not have the self awareness? to understand that Russia today might not be asking him to lie or make up stuff, but because he predominantly wants to slag off the government, that's why Russia today are happy to give him a platform. Is this guy so stupid he can't understand this? But anyway, let's listen to him. 
been done against a media outlet. And in terms of, of this show, in terms of Redacted Tonight, as I've noted before, I'm an American in America covering American news for Americans. My, my father was in the U.S. military for 20 years. I was born at Walter Reed Army Hospital. I'm descended from Walter Camp, the father, the inventor. Sounds like military industrial complex fucking spook or something to me. Then I just trip up, man, and I end up in this geopolitical info war. Yeah, it's just a coincidence. Of course, um, when the army understood, I don't know, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years ago, that there was going to be some sort of uh, digital internet information war, of course the army didn't scout about for people that had links to people that in the know that they could they could uh, clandestinely procure f to be future agents. Of uh, Adam Curry. Uh, um, Alex Jones. Fucking football. Uh, David Icke. Oh, that's funny. David Icke played football as well when this guy is um, actually related to the guy that's the father of American football. It was this guy who wore our a uh, champ at this, the, 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 ah, oh, what's the, the Russell Trust, the Russell Trust, aka the Skull and Bones. Oh, seriously, you couldn't be more American than me if you f***ed Uncle Sam with a red, white, and blue strap on, shaped like Abraham Lincoln while singing, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, all right. Yeah. Uh, um, and because I was born in America and stuff, uh, and like I was in the military, uh, uh, possibly from heart, uh, Yale. I think Yale. I think skull and bones come from Yale. Um, so of of course I'm genuinely American. Um, my family um, aren't just like people who are bigger than countries. I mean, remember, like I don't, I, I don't know. My opinion uh, is the people with real money in this world don't really give a fuck about countries. They don't really see them. They've got their own flags, and it isn't a flag of a country. It's like fucking coats of arms and all that shit. And the, our, the flags for peasants are just distractions, I believe. My bloodstream, I've got Toby Keith naked rubbing apple pie and Kentucky bourbon on his nipples, all right? <laughs> And I didn't set out to be on a Russian-funded network. But in my 20 years of doing political stand-up comedy across this country, I found out that the naughty things I talk about, a.k.a. The, the unvarnished truth, are not allowed on... You slag off the American corporations. So the only person you can get to fund your career is the Russian corporations. Because it's the only the, p the people that are willing to give you airspace to shout down the American Anglo Corporation is the Russian Corporation and you can't see that. If you're happy to do that and are, are you not even got the honesty to stand up and uh, 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 like call out that. And all of the other channels in this great country. If you've taken the red pill and you're looking for the... the of course, Russia is the only person willing to give you a platform. Undiluted, stone-cold reality about the corporate state in which we live. No, it's not the absolutely stone-cold, harsh reality. It's a pigeonhole of the reality because you never do a reflection on, let's say, the corporate fucking slaveism that's going on in China, the corporate slaveism that's going on in Russia. And don't argue all this fucking um, communist, socialism, leftism, rightism bullshit. It's all distraction. Ultimately, when you boil it down, is how do you best do you distract the slaves and make them most productive for the multinational who don't give a shit about countries, corporations. With no chaser to even cover the burn, you know? You, not, not even a wedge of lime to suck on. <laughs> If that's what you're looking for, then this is the f***ing channel you turn to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's just, there's just nothing else out there. There are YouTube channels like the Jimmy Dore Show, but that's not a TV channel.
You show, look, trust me, I've had the meetings. If you show up at any other TV network and say, the two-party system is a corrupt, broken, crap fest owned by Wall Street, then the executives at that channel will look at you like you just farted into a bullhorn, auto-tuned it, and replayed it to them with Bill Cosby as your hype man. True. But why is RT so willing to give you a platform then? Because they are the opposite side of the corporate information war. It's not because you're fucking the best things in sliced bread, mate. <laughs> Although he is, quite, he is quite funny, isn't he? A lot of the shows on RT America are hosted by people who were kicked out of the corporate outlets that they, because they, 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 you know, after they said things that aren't allowed. And when I, and I was hey, when I say said things, I, I don't mean. People who have a grudge against the American establishment and system and who will come out and poke the American and Anglo-American establishment uh, uh, stroke system with a stick are all given airtime on RT. But it's not because RT's just a platform for that kind of sentiment. No. It's because all these people's stories are the most important story ever in the world, ever. It's not painting a larger narrative. And I'm not saying any of them are lying or I'm even a fan of the American system. Um, but the RT is telling you who to hate and why to hate them the same way the BBC is or Fox is or the alternative over in America. Like they accidentally used the word <laughs> on air. I, I mean, they came out against our military industrial complex or our corporate state or the, the, the bank owned faux democracy, okay? Chris Hedge. Hmm. Who would have a. Uh dog in the fight, I don't know, a big enough dog in the fight that they could maybe muster an internationally available TV channel, uh, studios in a few locations around the world, and give platform to people who hate the American industrial complex. Hmm. That might be the adversaries of the American industrial complex. Most notably people with the largest amount of money would be the Russian Federation and China. And then if you join the dot between this TV channel, it'll be called Russia Today and it's been funded by the Russian kind of state. And then these people popping up and not having... I'm not saying these people shouldn't be doing it. I mean, I believe these people have got a message and a general gripe against the system and if that's their way of expressing it, battle the hell in. But then when like RT gets called out for being like Russian propaganda, which it is... Doesn't propaganda doesn't mean it's lies. That's just such a shallow way of thinking of propaganda is just lies about the other side. Uh anyway. Um then they're either useful idiots or I don't think they're being honest and to get to a position like that, I would believe they're fucking very well highly more educated than I'll ever be. And thus I I don't know, maybe I'm just batshit crazy and I've got things sideways. Maybe that's it. She was booted from the New York Times after coming out against the Iraq war. Ed Schultz was sidelined at MSNBC after speaking up a lot about the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which was largely considered a global corporate takeover. And he was the only one talking about it on that network. Governor Jesse Ventura had a major news show with MSNBC set to go, set ready, ready to start before <laughs> the Iraq war began. But then they found out he's opposed to war. <laughs> and this is true. They asked him if he could change his mind on that. <laughs> Excuse us, Jesse. Are you flexible on the whole let's not kill a million innocent people under false pretenses thing? Can you, can you flippity floppity on that? He said no, and they paid him like a million dollars to get out of his contract. They paid a million dollars just to make him go away. They were like, they were like, man, I mean, honestly, I would love to be that annoying. That's, I, that's where the real money is, the annoyance money, all right? Jesse, 
Jesse, I aspire, I aspire to be as much of a nuisance to MSNBC as you were. Mike Papantonio, also now on RT America, called out a major corporate sponsor on MSNBC's Morning Joe, and then Joe Scarborough went on the air the next day to apologize. So these people aren't like really Joe Public or people off the street like me and you. All the people on RT America are people that have been stiffed by the system that they're now calling out, um, taking money off of the opposite side. Now, excuse me for sort of a point now that Russia's no bastion of fucking like freedom or whatever. Correct me if I'm fucking wrong. I mean, remember the G19, the G20 or whatever, when Russia got kicked out of it and the only thing they could agree on was clamping together on tax avoidance? Excuse me for pointing that out. Anyway, um, so thank you for the link for that. Yeah, you, there's the information if you want to go and further that on yourselves. Uh, now, and uh, this will speed up, right? So Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Um, and again, engage with cryptocurrencies all you want. Um, no doubt in the future, <coughs> the ability to do transactions digitally is no doubt going to be part and parcel of our existence. Um, it's control of that that they're fighting for, and ultimately that's going to be the monopolization of everything, isn't it? You can see it already in the pipeline. Do you know how you can see it already in the pipeline? With the applied psychology that's getting rolled out to the public, Things don't quite make sense. <coughs> You're given a plastic card with a signature. That is the security thing. Oh, someone can uh, forge your signature. That isn't quite secure. Let's give you a PIN number. Okay, the PIN number strip can kind of get hacked. Maybe you could get hacked. Maybe you could. Maybe you could. Ah, I don't know. So we'll give you a pin, a chip and pin, and then with the chip and pin, it's so super duper fucking paratrooper secure um, that we are going to. Um, by the way, it is the most secure way of doing it. Um, the the chip and pin is so secure. Um, what was my point? Oh, you don't need your signature anymore. Just chip and pin. Then the contactless thing rolls out. Oh, hold on, we were told we went from ability for somebody to just walk in and bullshit a signature and walk out with goods to now the ability somebody to just walk in, not even have to fucking forge a signature, just go boop boop and get some goods. Uh, 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 they, they, they were getting sold, this is, we're getting told. The piss ants, the, you know when the, the fucking fat cunts at the table are sitting up there like, wah, 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 wah. What are you doing this for? Uh, we're doing it for your security! Right? That isn't really what's going on. Remember when you were a kid and adults told you the excuse for something and you just knew they were lying to you? And you just weren't satisfied. I get the same thing when they're telling me all this shit is for our security and we end up with this contactless bull fucking shite. Two step forwards, one step back. A contactless is a load of crap, and you know they will then go for the chip in your hand. Once they sell you on how convenient the contactless is. Anyway, something like that. But, um, and then another thing, gonna sell you on the uh, cryptocurrency bullshit. Dabble in that if you want, man. Make your money and run, I don't know. Anyway, dabble in the cryptocurrency bullshit and the more and more you hear about these things getting hacked and broken into and so on and so forth, um, the big banks are going to offer up a super duper secure insured. So everything transaction that will be done will be insured. So if anything like this goes tits up, your money will be insured. Boom shakalaka. Thank you, you wee rats in a maze for your Bitcoin, your bit this, your bit that, for all your data to show us how to do it. Now the big boys will take all that data, create something that can work, and boom shakalaka, we'll have bit, uh, one world digital uh, currency. I'm pretty sure by 2020, the big, the big banks are going to be doing their inter 
inter transfers using blockchain technology. Um, but anyway, um, oh, there's there's concerns and questions about the safety of digital money and Bitcoin. You mean the people that told me it was unhackable just didn't think? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. For like, I don't know. All the intelligence that these computer geeks have and stuff, they just don't understand that a man will always crack everything and anything. Always. And the person that invents it will always have a back door into it and no tell anybody about it. It's the nature of man. It's the nature of a back passage. You know what I mean? When you were under siege, dirty bastards, don't go there. When you were under siege, you wanted your secret back passage out of there. Uh, everybody has, everybody should have one. You need your, you need a clear back passage of escape. Anyway, so that was the Bitcoin. The open information war, which is going on, it's just another theatre of the larger geopolitical struggle that's going on. Google plan to isolate Russia media as an act of information warfare. Yeah, well, true, but like for Russia to stand up there and go, Me? Oh, us? Let old Russia today? You mean rapping conspiracy and news together to the dumbed down American public was bad? Oh, we just thought rapping and dumb <laughs> getting Abby t getting Abby Martin to get her tits out and man, how many conspiracy guys must have jerked off to Abby Martin selling them a conspiracy? Oh, she said central banks. Oh no, <laughs> she said Federal Reserve. Oh, Abby, Abby, uh, Abby Martin. That is. Um, I mean, when you think about the hindsight of that, and like when you see that big fucking bird thing trying to hobble about in her heels that she couldn't do, man, trying to act all sexy and shit, because RT told her to fucking, ah, get your tits out, wee blouse on. <coughs> chop, chop, woman. <laughs> your milkshake brings all the conspiracy boys to the yard, and they're like, no, it's real. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> and they're like, no, it's real. And Abby Martin's like, yes, it is. <laughs> anyway, but she didn't lie. It means it's not propaganda. I mean, th there is no deeper way of actually looking at all this information that we've sucked up from how to meditate and hover blocks into making pyramids. Like, the, we all know the ancient pyramids were invented by people just sitting together and going, hum. Yes, I can't conceive of a way that man could have ever possibly done that and maybe we've not been able to figure it out. Maybe we have. Maybe we haven't. Who knows? But I can't conceive man doing that. No, it must have been space aliens. Laser guided weapons. It must be some sort of USO base. It just can't be the fucking absolute I, 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 uh, symbol of it man can achieve if we... Come together, right now, over Illuminati. Anyway, doom, boom, boom, boom. So there's the information war. Uh, and with the information war, you got some boop, boop, boop at the Vatican. The Vatican in the house, the Pope, the ISIS, the Pope's going to come and get you. That's just beautiful bull crap, isn't it? Uh, so let's have a wee look at the red fear. There is a clip of this. I can shut up. What a ting ha ha! This makes well me talk. Um, anyway, China urges uh, talks after US brands North Korea Terra sponsor. Uh, wait for it. Iran done 9-11. It's all linked in. This is the Iran done 9-11. Kid you not. Kid you not. Uh, China urges talks after Trump blacks list North Korea. You've been a very naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Very naughty, naughty, naughty boy. Do I still have a fucking Trump fucking... Oh, I do. I love China. What about North Korea? Mexico. Fuck Mexico. The United States of America. Fuck, aye, uh, America first, and then you go and start taking over the world. And yes. Aye, and exactly yes, dickhead. Kai, Donnie, Don. What the fuck are you talking about, pal? 
We don't beat Japan with their millions and millions of cars coming into this country. You only beat fucking Japan up now? What about fucking North Korea? We can't beat Mexico at the border or in trade. And you want to fucking pick a fight with North Korea? I understand that you're building a nice $2.5 billion car factory in Mexico. Thank you very much. How did you know about that? It's going to be called the Houston Mobile. Houstonia's first car. It's going to be called the Husto Cab. Instead of the Johnny Cab, but you just get somebody that crashes all the time. Anyway. So, not one word. We really do have to get going. Yeah, you get going, pal, because you're not even talking about North Korea. Declare sponsor of terror! China jails prominent human rights lawyer, Jing Chang Chong. Right, so uh, China getting hyped up as the struggle in the South China Sea continues. The struggle uh, between uh, Afghanistan's about China as well. Um, I'm going to get into other areas later on where I'm going to do some live research, in depth research that nobody else can do. Live. And uh, let's see um, if there's a common theme of uh, when two tribes go to war, when America try to pull Ch push China out. Um, so let's. Should have had this better organised, but hey ho. Now, today the United States is designating North Korea as a state sponsor of terrorism. This designation will impose further sanctions and... How do you get you there from Iran done 9-11? You may ask, you may ask, you may ask. I don't know how they done it, but they done it. ...killed Osama bin Laden. And the allegation here... Hey, hold on. ...of Al-Qaeda after they had killed Osama bin Laden. And the allegation here is that... The president at the time, President Obama, was trying to build up uh, the energy for the 2012 re-election campaign and make al-Qaeda look like it wasn't really much of a threat anymore because bin Laden was dead. My question to you is, uh, was bin Laden even a big part of that organization at that time? He was hiding in Pakistan. <laughs> My God, right. So they're actually resurrecting bin Laden after Obama killed him to, put, uh, to slander Obama and then to sell you that Iran done 9-11. I mean, it's just beautiful, just absolute fucking wag the dog shit. He was hiding. Um, what, what's important here is that, you know, President Obama, uh, was the, he said that his administration was going to be the most transparent in history. Yeah. What, what, what's important here? But, but, but what the administration did, they, they had this um, enough in, intelligence. Uh, see if somebody was stuttering that much to me, I, I stutter like a fool, man, but I ain't fucking on a podium. See if somebody, uh, 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 maybe, oh, but, 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 uh, 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 I, I, I'm, I'm sure, I'm, yeah, 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 I'm telling the fucking truth, yeah, 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 From that raid to fill a small library, um, they said, and, but they only released just a, a, a couple dozen documents <laughs> yeah, about yeah, what they found, what they, what the administration downplayed. What they, what they, oh man, it's really annoying, I think she's an android on skip. Maybe, they, maybe. They, Maybe the androids have already taken fun. Maybe the, shh, the AI might hear us. John Connor. I mean, that's the way they take this back to Terminator with a CI shape. And this was due to infighting within the bureaucracy. Of course, you mentioned the timing is conspicuous. It's right before the re-election. It's when the president was trying to get this Iran deal at all costs through. Right. And what, what this intelligence did reveal now that the Trump administration has finally released um, that... Oh, right, so, the, oh, hold on, this brings me into my pictures. Not any new ones, but I just want to point out the trim pictures. Oh, this is a good, that's the good one for tonight as well. And that's always a good one. Yeah, I got an election. Uh, vote for the global nationalists. Democracy. Um, what I wanted to show. Oh, remember Trump's G uh, JFK uh, Bukaki? Uh, or JFK's mother loads, will he be firing blanks? Um, well, uh, his intelligence so far has been absolutely spot on, hasn't it? 
Hitler was in Ar I'm going to tell you who murdered JFK. Hitler's in Argentina! Woo! Booga, booga, booga! Thousands and thousands of these documents as it reveals that there was this connection between Al-Qaeda and Iran. Oh! Al-Qaeda and Iran! Just like that! Oh! Do, 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 do. Oh! Man, where did you pull that? Out my ass! Ch Chazam! Yes! You do the hokey pokey and you talk a lot of shit and then you pull it out your arse. Oh! Iran done 9-11! Woo! Yes, Iran done 9-11! A much, much closer relationship. Remember, Iran is a Shia country, Al-Qaeda is Sunni, and so a lot of people said that these countries couldn't um, cooperate, but in fact they were because they had mutual interests. Yeah, and, and, and that, that would have made the... See if I was on Fox News and they were like, right, okay, what's the script? Iran done night, what the fuck? Oh my God. I, I would be speaking like these two. Both of them are... Get on with it. Iran deal looked terrible, and at the same time, you had this this killing of bin Laden was a huge victory for that administration. They want that to look better. They're coming off. They have a flaccid recovery to the economy. They can't brag about that. They needed something really powerful to brag on, right? And they needed something to really make 2012 look like you got to bring me back for four more. That's exactly right. And they were also trying to pull troops uh, prematurely, I would say, out of Iraq and Afghanistan. And if you've got al-Qaeda on the rise, rather than being decimated, that doesn't really fit your narrative. So yeah. all of these things went into play. And it was a politicization of this intelligence, which is, you know, what the Trump administration continues to say was going on during the right. Obama administration. So yeah, yeah. Um, Obama uh, ignored the Iran links to um, al-Qaeda uh, because of the Iran deal. Um, makes absolute... Perfect sense. Really feeds into that, um, you know, gives evidence that that's actually quite true. We're seeing politicization in, in, in all parts of government. Uh, 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 uh government that we never knew about before. It's a lot of stuff coming out now. Rebecca, thanks so much for coming on this morning. Thanks. Right, so, like, I'm sorry, man. See when Trump's 9-11, see when Trump's North Korea agenda not only keeps China in the crosshairs, but now puts Iran in the crosshairs. Um, can you not see that he's sucking the bobby of BB? Maybe that's the only people in Scotland will understand that. But Trump sucks BB's a bobby. Right? Trump, BB, bobby. Trump sucks BB's bobby. Hold on, there's a rap in that somewhere as well. Um, shit, I've lost that. Trump sucks BB's bobby. Anyway, no. Um, so, that's the info war coming at ya. So, world war or what war? Let's have a wee look. Ah, Lebanon touched on uh, a good few weeks ago when that started to burn. Um, Uh, it's the same agenda that's going on in Syria, and and it's and it's this emerging alliance between Israel and Saudi Arabia, um, which again, like the, the on the surface alliance of Saudi Arabia and uh, Israel emerging now. Now let's say this alliance has been happening covertly for some time. They would explain why um, ISIS has never struck Israel. And why people say ISIS serve the same agenda as Israel, because they do. They're one and the same. In fact, I would argue, I, 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 um, like other geopolitical players on the playing field, ISIS being a capture-all scarecrow, Britain will have some ISIS, Russia will have some ISIS, America will have some ISIS, Turkey will have some ISIS, and we'll have some ISIS here, we are ISIS there. Here in ISIS, there in ISIS, everywhere in ISIS. Anyways, like big fucking old McDonald's geopolitical farm out there. Geopolitical bullshit farm. Anyway, eh, where was my moose loose about this house? 
So that's what's happening in Lebanon. A warm embrace. Get back to what you know. I think El Brace sung that. Uh, Putin renews call for a political deal in a sad visit. But hey, don't worry. Um, there was some pervert in Hollywood. Pay attention to that. Putin summons Assad, Assad, Assad to Sochi. Take charge of shaping post-war Syria. Trump, nut, nut job. Putin, Trinity. Uh, congratulates Camille on victory over Daesh, aka ISIS. Uh, Zimbabwe is Mugabe uh, urged to quit now by ex uh, VP. He's now resigned. Nothing to do with the gun at his head or the army at his door or the guns at his head or the army at his door. Green fucking resign. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, he's, or his wee Hitler esque moustache. You got to love somebody that rocks that. <coughs> but anyway, <coughs> um, the neo colonial agenda um, will bounce back on a uh, Rhodesia. Or uh, Zimbabwe, I mean, they will now become the breadbasket of uh, Africa again, and the white cunts will, and the, the the European companies, the white cunts will start getting paid again. Um, and I'm not saying Mugabe was a nice guy, um, but I could see where he was coming from, and and, and um, some of his claims in my sceptical mind hold true. He fucked over Britain, kicked out some of their expats and the power, and then he claimed that Britain destroyed their economy. Britain, like, we would never do anything like that! Sorry, man. I need to speak to people here on a, 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 a like, men, like, look, look, an understanding that cunts rule the world on all sides, and I'm not on any other sides. I'm just not going to fall for any cunts propaganda or claim any clunt, cunts click. <laughs> for lack of a better way of explaining it. Anyway, that was war, what war. There was a wee few um, flashpoints. Now let's look at the Sweden agenda. I keep hearing terms thrown around like white genocide. I also hear uh, leftist fanatics screaming that any opposition to importing refugees or even enforcing the law on illegal immigration is akin to r r r r racism with an echo uh it isn't uh, although i assume racists would also oppose any form of migration or illegal immigration you can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. i think both sides from the alt-right and the sjw's are full of themselves and their exaggerations don't help their cause. But I want to make this video because the events in Kakistan are depressing, frankly, and I feel like they need... Right, so, oh my god, he was almost tickling my ovaries there for a second. Then he goes into Kakistan. I don't think it's a genuine, um, I don't think it's a real world. I don't think it's a real place, a real... A real uh, is this cuck? meme that the alt-right use and there's oh man it, it weirdos me out big style it really does it's a genre of porn of just like what what what's this what the what, what, what? i don't have to, oh, it's never it's like trying to put a glove on my foot, man. It's like, what the f- I does, Nah, I, this- What the- Nah, people don't- What? Anyway, I won't do it. And- Outside help, uh, because it's Kakistan, and it's so full of cucks that nobody there seems- He was just calling the alt-right and the alt-left so full of himself. Then he goes on to, like, a fucking- Hey, also, you don't fucking think like me, you fucking dumb fucks. Uh, Cucks. Capable of standing up for themselves. So, let me give you an American's perspective. Uh, Sweden, in particular, Sweden importing the third world so that sections of their cities become no-go zones. Right now, again, he tried to distance himself from the alt left and the alt right, 
and then he goes on an absolute alt-right meme-driven based fucking bullshit. Um, I'm, uh, the brown man's coming to get you. Sweden's turned into a war zone. Um, let me just get this up. Um... Pretty sure, has it been gone? Is it coming? Uh. Oh, come on, you fuck, give me something. No. Here we go, 2018. Um, so, less than a year. So, they're turning up the propaganda in Sweden up to 11. Right? Uh, so, you need to wonder, you're, I was just wondering all of us, why is every country shouting about Sweden? The rape capital. Right? And it, and, and, and it so happens that Sweden. And who cares? It's up to the fucking stupid Swedes what they want to do in their own wee retarded fucking Smirkenberg and Smirk. Um, if that's the nationalist fucking attitude. Now you think about it, here's an American nationalist sitting in fucking Japan with some fucking na Native American in his blood or some shit talking about fucking Sweden defending itself with Muslims with a Palestinian fucking flag behind them. What the fuck, nigga? <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's like a cause, you fucking causes. Are you, are you fucking. I don't know. For native Swedes, is neither colonization nor multiculturalism. Go to Sweden, mate. This is parroting what Paul Joseph Watson says. This parrots what InfoWars has been saying. It parrots what. Uh, Mike Rivero says. This is the alt right fucking top of the line. Agenda for 2018, um, the 2018 primary agenda is Sweden and changing the political landscape in Sweden like they've done in Germany successfully, like they've done in France successfully, like they're doing Brexit successfully, like this is all happening and this isn't happening grassroots, if it was grassroots it wouldn't be a coordinated Fucking internet driven fucking hate the fucking refugees are coming to get your fucking jobs bullshit and listen to this guy's polarized Sweden and NATO Oh sorry Sweden and NATO The Sweden agenda as I'm saying Wait genocide It's just their Indian territory to foreign hordes because of violence and the threat of violence But it's not genocidal colonies well, it's genocide, it's cultural genocide, but it's not white genocide because... Uh, don't worry about it, people. Um, it's only cultural genocide, so don't be so angry as if it's white genocide. Uh, potato, potato, you still, you, st you, you still feel the stick? Still getting poked with the stick? You still feeling a wee bit aggravated in your cage? You still rah, in your cage listening to this prick? This schizophrenic, discombobulated, where are you coming from, motherfucker? Are you, are you a Yankee Doodle Dandy? A, a, a fucking new, a, a libertarian? Pff, I don't know what the fuck he is, right? Um, but he doesn't make sense. And I'm singing from this Sweden hymn sheet. It exposes him. Expo for me, exposes his agenda. I'm sorry, it really does. They're still alive. They're not being replaced, not like uh, colonization of the Americas or uh, Australia or something. It's also not peaceful self-segregation either. It's land annexation through violence. All cultures are not equal. It's one thing to learn from Feeding. different 
the clash of cultures and the Muslims, the barbarians, whatever you want to say, the brown cunts that want to just rape your woman and they come over here, steal our jobs, and they're just junkies and gangs and they're bringing over the plague as well. Remember the plague? The fucking... This is where that plague shit fits in. Mike Rivero was the worst for this. The Mexicans, they're bringing back the plague. They're bringing in diseases. Fucking hell, the hysteria for these ball bags, right? Sorry to point out um, Ryan Dawson, you might like him, I still subscribe and listen to him and stuff, but um, I'm sorry, that's just feeding the fucking alt-right bullshit, which initially he tries to separate himself from, and then falls straight into the Sweden agenda, right? Um, Sweden, um, <clears throat> not only is it in the alternative media's propaganda cro uh, crosshairs for whatever reason, it's also in NATO's crosshairs, while we... We have long worked together to assess security in the Baltic Sea region. Hmm. And where's the who, where's what's the tensions in the Baltic Sea region? The geopolitical tensions, both on the water, under the water, and via airspace. If you go and look at Kaliningrad, uh, let me just do that for people who are unaware of actually a map. Um. I mean, why would there be like both sides of the information war? Uh, juking it out over bullshit about what's going on in Sweden. Why is it RT draws your attention to what's going on over here in Sweden as well? Why is that? I don't know. Right, let's have a wee look at Sweden, right? Um, let me get rid of the fucking roads because that just makes it look too noisy. Too noisy. Too noisy. Shit, did I forget to write that down? Fucking did. Oh no, I didn't. Don't lose focus. I forgot to say this at the beginning. Should have said it. <laughs> Lost focus. <laughs> Don't lose focus on your life. Um, all the bread and circuses, i.e. the noise, is there to make you lose focus on what's important to you, yours and your own priorities. Uh, rather than having three or four things that are important to you that you can achieve, uh, go and care about 10 million dolphins, here's some panda bears to care about, there's some fucking starving fucking cunts over there, look at these war touring cunts, look at these bastards over here, if you heard about this, coming to get you, we heard about this, right, go and worry about all that, don't concentrate on solving shit in your own life, where that energy is more wisely spent, and again, it's not, fuck, I don't know, some people seem to like absorb that as like, oh, selfishness, it's all about the you, it's all about you, it isn't, it, you, you can project that with the understanding that if everybody took care of the holes in their own boat, we'd be living in a world with less freaking people drowning, right, not instead of us all sitting together and going, what we need to do is come together saying, kumbaya, bring world peace, and build a big super ship to save the world in one big go. Nah, we'll build wee fucking life rafts one at a time and spread that shit. And then if people want to bounce into your life fucking boat, you can bounce in. That's a better, the best analogy I can think of explaining the simplifi simplifying where my headspace is at just now. It's not that I even want to like, like force that opinion on anybody, it's just genuinely the headspace where I've arrived at at the moment. Where do you where do, where do you as an individual should concentrate on putting your energy? And that's into your own life. Believe it or fucking not. That, that isn't me being selfish, that's me fucking trying to get people to focus on what's important. Um, and whatever's, like, what's important varies from individual. What, what, what's important in one is different from the other, what people feel passionately about. I mean, I love this stuff, deciphering it, man, it's like, it's like symbols, it's, it's like, it's like an archaeologist turning up and deciphering new symbols, it's like, because I, I, I genuinely believe I see the patterns and read some sort, well, whether I'm crazy or not, who knows, um, but that's the, what it's like to me, so uh, that's what my enthusiasm comes from, and be able to simplify that, and not bamboozle people with bullshit or put them off with just, I don't know, talking rings around you. It's like pointing out how they're lying, the mechanisms, and, con uh, and progressively over time, hopefully joining the dots of how I see it from a week-to-week -week basis, and that's why not the Infowars, Nightly news is the best. Anyway, 
Kaliningrad right there is a, a Russian spot, Russian sovereignty, which gives them uh, waterways and airspace over here. And if you come just across the waterway from it, you've got Sweden. That's why there's a kind of heightened tension between the two set of them there. And then remember Babu 7, massive moves, man! Russian submarine spotted in the sub Oh man, this guy's just fucking parroting pish. And that must have been two, three years I was calling him out for that shite. Um, parroting pish about fucking mass move, man. It's laughable when you look at it. That's why you don't want to get caught up just being part of the echo chamber. Echoing this, echoing that, echoing this, echoing that. It doesn't matter what you're echoing. It's just part of the echo chamber. It's, it's about... Learning a decipher shit for ourselves, come to our own conclusions. Surely is it not? For me it is. I don't know what it is for you, you make up your own mind. Anyway, that's worth looking at there. Um, with the airspace stuff. Um, and that's why Baltic Sea Security is a shared priority for Sweden and NATO. And this is the Sweden agenda. Elections in Sweden, right, just less than a year ago. Um, that's why RT, Alex Jones, UK Column, well, uh, every alternative controlled outlet out there and the useful idiots uh, will be parroting Muslim rape in Sweden, <laughs> unfortunately. And then even the real problems that are happening and stuff. See, the Muslim no-go zones in Sweden, they're no more real than the Muslim no-go zones that, are, that exist in the UK that they try and tell me that exist. The Muslim no-go zones that I walk down that happen, that exist in Glasgow. I mean, it's crazy, the bullshit that people parrot. Anyway, um, now let's go and rip Mike Rivero a new arsehole with this whole Sweden agenda. Mike CIA. Rivero. So, RT an amazing 1930. Sure did. And it's insane. And we know there was massive election fraud last year. Some at Man, this guy is so pathetic. So, like I said, the right, 1930. Here's how it's and to get going, and that's back. Aloha, America. Welcome back to the show here. And I finally received my own copy of Donna Brazil's book, Hacks. And uh, I've been skimming through it already, uh, looking for the juicy parts. And I get a strong sense that Donna Brazil... Some of it's true, some of it's not. The bits that I see are true, are true. And the bits that I see are not true, are not true. Now, anybody with a critical thinking here to engage this and the discernment to maybe decipher it, will then come to, uh, might come to the same conclusion I'm going to come to. Uh, did intend to write a very accurate portrayal of what was going on behind the scenes. Oh, it's very accurate. Okay, it's very, very accurate. Uh, during Hillary's campaign. Oh, uh, it's she's very, a lot. it's very, very accurate. Okay, you got that. It's very, very accurate. Don't worry, it's accurate. Into the idea that Russia was somehow involved in all of this. Uh, but Russia, they had, they weren't out there, um, they didn't have a dog in the fight in the American election. There wasn't a candidate in the American election that was more on the Putin side of things than the other. No, Russian didn't have a dog in the fight to go on the internet and parrot memes that might benefit one candidate or the other. And Mike Rivero was involved in NASA. He's meant to be an expert on how propaganda works and stuff, and he hasn't got the objectivity to call these two sides out. Uh, but it's clear she's not really sure. And uh, I... So it's accurate, apart from the Russian thing, but it's clear she's not really sure. I get a sense that she went along with Russia because that was the group think in the room. And I've got the book, I showed you it, I read it now, I'm your author. And remember, don't write your own books, people. Come to your own conclusions. Read other people's books. We all know everything in a book's true. And people that write books are obviously telling you the truth. And obviously more intelligent than us because you can't write a book. 
I write about 20 million books in my head each and every day. I just don't write them down. My bullet point shits. It's called the, the, the book of my fucking life. And I'm the author. Nobody else. I am the author and author authority of my own life. Imagine that. I'm my, I'm the, my own author and my own authority. Author authority. Author authority. My favourite author. Oh no, what, what, Jeeves? Oh, I've read 20 million books more than you, Jeeves. What, what? I, I've got more authors than you. I know more authors than you. I've read more authorities than you. I know. Oh, oh, what, 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 what? Go and write your own books, you bastards. Uh, but uh, again, she's trying to backpedal from a lot of the stuff. I have a feeling that she didn't realize what she wrote about how Hillary Clinton commandeered the Democratic National Committee uh, was going to explode into such a scandal. So, but it is a good book, and it is a, a worthy read here. All right, let's grab a phone call. Kathleen in Paris, aloha. Welcome to the show. What's on your mind? Hi, Mike. Um, I was going to talk about uh, uh, RT. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, I saw an interview today. I think it was on uh, Crosstalk, and the guy on the panel said, that he enjoyed coming on uh, RT because without an exception on all the other like uh, corporate uh, news that there was always a pre-interview that they wanted to know what are you going to say and what is your attitude and how do you feel really but that on RT that didn't happen and he was always felt free to just say whatever he wanted to say yes I mean, that's how that's how the corporate uh, media works. Yep, yep. Works is that, you know they'll pre-interview to you to make sure that you're in line with the official story, and, and if you fail to pass muster, then the interview just doesn't happen. Whereas RT have critics of Putin on all the time. RT have investigative reporters all over Russia reporting in English to the rest of the world about the corruption that's going on in in Russia, about the poverty, the bad shit. It goes on everywhere, in every corner of the globe. Yeah, Mike Rivero, you fat wee lying fucking bastard. I cannot believe how long I was sucked in with this fat wee cunt. Honestly, he is not this stupid. He is not this stupid. The magic man, the magician, working for NASA, married to a Jew, Bumped into the CIA, used to be involved with some of the biggest drug dealers in fucking Los Angeles. Tripped over this fucking dick and it just, oh, honest officer, it just fucking fell up my arse. Yeah, I didn't realize that. And this guy said that RT does not do that. Well, I mean, uh, that's an, yeah, well, it, it is another uh, indicator that uh, Russia today is not as tightly controlled uh, by anybody. Uh, yeah, and Russia controls not controlled by anybody. Let alone the Russian government. Yeah, get, get alone the Russian government. No, 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 nothing to see here. Look at the shiny ball over here. Look at this fat excuse of a man and magician and his pathetic parlor tricks. It's not that pathetic. It fell for it myself for many a year. But I, that makes me more angry at him. Now I can see through it. I'm like, how did I ever fall for it? So blindly obvious. But the, you, do you know how it became blindly obvious? Watching them for longevity with the open-mindedness to consistently analyse what he's putting out. Even though I liked and I agreed when it was, and it was on point with a lot of the topics that I was saying at the very early on through me engaging with them, I never stopped analysing or staying still or engaging in the cult of personality. As is being claimed, meanwhile, our corporate media is totally under the control of government and corporations here. Now, what's really interesting is they went back to a 1938 law uh, created specifically to counter Nazi Germany uh, to demand that Russia today register as a foreign agent. But meanwhile, you've got APAC uh, is still not required to register. This is known as a deflection. Let's not talk about the fact that Russia today is a foreign agent. You sit there and parrot most of their fucking stories unquestioningly 
without um, giving your viewers, listeners, the wise words of maybe propaganda doesn't have to be lies. Um, now, let's move on with the rest of the Sweden agenda. There's Mike Rivero, but maybe there's real Mike Rivero. Um, so, that was Russia Today um, as Amazing Chocolate. Oh, I don't know, I've got another one in there. Um, Art of the Deal 2750. <laughs> There's a foreign agent. Uh, how she didn't connect with the middle class. She right, was just okay, out there playing. Their senators did out. Close friends with Clinton campaign chair John Podesta. The t a crony is coming on in to save the day. Cestuous body of people. Everybody knows everybody. Everybody's else. Right, this was when, see when I was talking about, oh, I'm Mike Rivero, the magician from Las Vegas, best friends to drug dealers, worked for NASA at the space program, used to get contacted by the CIA, asked to join them, got a few friends in the Freemasons, just ended up in Hawaii, just right next to the military industrial complex, nothing to see here, my friends. Move along. My whole career's built on a hatred of Clinton and removing the Clinton crime family. Not for freedom, not for anything, but for Trump. Nothing to see here. Yeah, I was a magician, now I'm just a fat guy who's an atheist who used to be married to a Jew, but my wife was in a choir. Doesn't make sense, I don't know. This is going to protect everybody. Oh, and, uh, and again, it goes back to... And again, Mike Rivero just tripped up um, and uh, tripped up and landed on the dick and it ended up in his dick, his arse, honest, gov. Donald Trump's biggest single mistake on taking the White House, he wanted to be magnanimous and let a whole bunch of uh, holdovers stay in all of these uh, government departments and inside the White House staff itself, and he should have just cleaned them out. Donald Trump's only problem when he won the White House was he was just too nice. <laughs> ah, you fat fucking distraction. He was an outsider president. That's why the American people voted him in against over... He was sold to us as the outsider president. Donald Trump, art of the deal, his supporters. And I don't think you're that stupid... Mike Rivero. Overwhelming election fraud against him, and he should have... Yeah, he won even though there's election fraud. If he lost, there was election fraud even though he won. Oh, man, it just seemed... ...brought in an outsider government. Because there are people... He does look like the bad bear out of Toy Story. ...out here in the United States of America who are per fully qualified to do the necessary jobs that it takes to run a government. And he should have done that. And again, my concern about Trump even going back to before he won the nomination was that he was going into D.C. politics as dangerously naive as Jimmy Carter did. And Carter got blindsided by that whole crashed helicopter thing in Iran. Now, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton is out with another video, which we link to whatreallyhappened.com. And he's out there saying basically the left wants the ability to steal elections. And that's why they're pushing for illegal immigrants to come on in and open borders, and they're they're opposed to voter. Right. So Trump's Trump's doing good. ID and, and and all these other issues. And what was really amazing was this this uh, court decision, the consent decree, where apparently the Republicans have to have the permission of the Democratic Party. Uh, to investigate allegations of Democratic election fraud. And I don't know how they managed to pull that one off, but they sure did. And it's insane. And we know there was massive election fraud last year. Some At least 1,100 documented cases... Trump won. ...that shifted outcomes. And I'm very upset that Donald Trump's Commission on Election Integrity doesn't seem to be doing any more than his commission on vaccine safety. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm really surprised Donald Trump isn't doing what he said he was going to do. He's arted, he's, he's art of the deal to his supporters. And you'd think Donald Trump would come to understand 
that if the elections are if the election system is not reformed and made honest and representative of the will of the American people, he's going to be a one term president. That is just the reality. It's he in won? his own best interest to clean up this election system. I mean, if you look at what they're doing uh, to to Judge Roy Moore, you'll realize the Democratic Dirty Trick Squad is still out there. I am sorry, fucking fat man. I've had enough of that. But more on Mike to come. Chocolate milk. 124.10. What really happened with your host, Mike Rivero? You're listening to the Republic. Public Broadcasting Network, where you'll find out what the. F and of course, she was immediately trounced on. But we're going to forget the first place. And I'm not joking. To be a racist hate symbol. Right now, I'm going to argue. I don't think this guy's this stupid. Right? I don't think he is innocently. Now, if somebody was doing this innocently, they're a useful idiot. This guy understands the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people that he reaches, the influence he has in the overall echo chamber of the in independent media. He understands that. And he's up here blindly echoing this piece of fucking shite. Right, <clears throat> now, this took me all of fucking a few minutes to get together. Let me just see. If I open all that, that should do that. Right, um, so let's just scratch beneath the circus of this shite for one wee second and see <laughs> where it all comes from. Right, let's see if you can see a concerted campaign here. Info whores, Sweden and milk. Sweden and milk, November 14th. Um, special Sweden-less milk is hate symbol. Okay, that's Sweden-less milk is hate symbol. I would like, I want to meet this Sweden guy because he seems a bit retarded. Imagine listing milk as a hate symbol. Um, right, let's not go to the money shot as of yet. Oh, the Washington Times! Washington Times! Yes. The mainstream media lies to you folks. They're all to do is lie. Lie, lie, lie. Yeah, it's uh, milk, the new symbol of racism in Donald Trump's America. Um, this was March, uh, months ago, okay? So the milk is racism, shit has been propagated for some time. There's March, back in Washington time, okay? But let's get on with, let's listen to this fat, parroting, unthinking, fucking moron. That's the best option. Or a complete shill cunt. Sweden, and I'm not joking, this did not come from the... Which didn't exist in the first place. Over in Sweden, and I'm not joking, this did not come from the onion. Tell us where you got it from then. Tell us where you got it from. Surely he's told us it's not from the onion, so he's not joking. You can rely on him. He worked from NASA. Look at this friendly old fuck. He wouldn't harm a fly. He's not out there to a magician you and he thinking some shite. Over in Sweden. Tell us your source, because you told us it's not from the onion, so tell us your source. They have declared milk to be a racist hate symbol. Wow, bit of a sweet and sweeping, sweeping Swedish statement there, Mike. Represents white supremacy. Oh, so uh, Sweden's what if it's just chocolate honest? milk. That's very funny. What if it's chocolate milk? Okay. Just a thought. Just a thought. Here's a thought. Investigate that story instead of parroting bullshit for the shock value or your ability to say a joke about chocolate milk. You fat fuck. Another story here about political correctness. <clears throat> Uh, this another example, another example here of somebody who I don't believe is that stupid, rhyming and repeating a story, going, "Oh, it's real. It's not from the Onion. It doesn't give you source." <coughs> and then this was November the fifteenth, two thousand and seventeen. <coughs> Here's November fourteenth, 
info whores. Here's um if you drink my milk, you may be a neo Nazi racist. But this is coming from the Washington Times back in March. Doesn't make sense. Why is Sweden all of a sudden doing the same thing that um let me think, where did I get this from? Where did I get this? Right, got it. Right. Uh, click here to infuriate yourself further. That see if see if you un Aurelianate this. If you want to annoy yourself even more, click this link. Now, if you can click that link and read that without annoying yourself, beautiful. Right. Daily Corner, this stupid biatch says milk has become a symbol of hate. This is back in February. Let's see where this shit is getting propagated from. Let's look at the dates. Let's source where this is getting propagated from. Let's do in five, ten minutes what Mike fucking CIA fucking Rivero cannot do. Right, like here's, oh, here's the, the, the source link the info whores used. Um, trying to put a date on it. Nothing better than a shitty wee website like this. See the sites Winfo Whores use as sources as well. Read Sweden to ban alternative... Look at the... Ah, sorry, I'm not even using that source. It's redunculous. Because right, I've got the sources here, don't worry. Red Ice TV, man! Yeah! I don't know. But anyway, racist bastards. A uh, Swedish defence report right here. Um, God, if I got the right, here's what I want up. No, it's not. Uh, right, anyway, what I want to show you here is where did I get the actual source from? It would have been from the Washington Post, not from Info Horse. Ah, sorry, man, I'm a wee bit all over the place here. Washington Times. Um, talking about milk is racist because uh, black people don't suffer from less dense bones as white people. Some shit like that, right? Um, basically just some provocative piece put out in there in the ether for other people to grab on, speculate about. Back in March, Donald Trump, milk equals milk equals white supremacy now here's the link donald washington times trump milk white supremacy info whores sweden and white supremacy while isis hacks radio shows sweden declares milk to be a racist hate symbol right that sounds sensational and it's not even true expression of anxiety or fear over immigration also hateful Right, okay, let's scratch beneath the circus of this shite. So where are these people? Uh, can, so a report by the Total Defence Research Institute, so it's not Sweden, it's a research institute, commissioned by the Swede, the government, so again, it's not the government saying this, it's an uh, institute used by the government. Um, potato, potato here, splitting hairs, but these uh, think tanks can come out and say any old bizarre old shit to spark any old geopolitical info war. Well, he, this is the actual definition of information being weaponized. And where is the information coming out from? The Swedish Defence Research Agency. And it just happens to be carrying a wee torch. The, the torch bearer, the light bringer, the Lucifer. Anyway, um, and here is the FOI, which is the Swedish information bulbo. Oh my god, I can't read Swedish. I'm just going to have to listen to info horse instead of actually using Google and sticking it in to translate and actually seeing what the report is, right? The white hatred, radical nationalism, and digital environments. So, let's see. Um, there's the author's release. Publication date after the Washington Times date, talking about milk being um, 
racist. So this report isn't suggesting uh, white milk is uh, is a white supremacy symbol. It's saying in the digital environments it is considered that. Does that make sense? Let me actually get to the summary. Uh, this report presents research and analysis conducted within the framework of the mission. Let's not ask what the mission of this report is before speculating and spinning it into inf weaponized information in the info war. No, no, no. Uh, assigned by the government to Total Defense Research Institute. Okay, so what's the government asked this research institute to do? These are questions we should be asking ourselves before Sweden just declared milk a fucking white hate symbol. Don't you think? Don't you think? Are, are these not questions we should be, or, or maybe someday purporting to be a journalist or some shit should be asking yourself? So what is the mission? Mission to Total Defen the Defense Research Institute to conduct mapping and analysis of violent, of violence, violent extremist propaganda. Okay, so it's not to tell me what is or isn't, it's to map what is happening, to analyse what is happening. So, during the analysis of this, they have came across the bullshit that the Washington Times has been propagating through the bullshit that this Sumatra Diaz has been propagating um, and they have reported on it and through that this is what you call the weaponizing of information that people talk about and can't point to this is the weaponizing of information why are they weaponizing it? Swedish general elections 2018 who is going to be Propagating it. Let me get to the wee diagram. It's going to be the people, the global nationalist agenda, brought to you by RT, UK Column, the alternative media, the opposite side of the information war. Shazam! There! is a breakdown of weaponized information. You don't get the UK column doing that. You don't get the BBC doing that. You don't get anybody Dabu7 doing that. You don't get people on the YouTubes or whatever waffling on about nothingness for fucking 10 hours, making you chase your tail, showing you practical. You know how, not a technocrat, a technocrat, technocracy and technocrats have nothing to do with technology. Um, technocrats could have existed in ancient Greece. Granted, they were used an abacus, but we're splitting hairs there. Um, but a technocrat has no practical, doesn't practically show you anything. They all theorise. They don't. They aren't the author of their own book. They don't write their own shit. They don't publish their own theories. They don't have their own opinions. They read other people's stuff. YouTube's authors, other people's authors, authorities, and then rhyme and repeat it, right? They don't practically pull apart other people's authorship of work and see where their, where they, where their authorship, why they're, why they authored that in the first place. They wanted to stamp their authority on that authorship to steer you in a direction. And that direction is controlling. Because the global na debate. Look at the amount of Swedish people that bounce up in Infowars and Mike Rivero's show on the phone ins and stuff. Anyway, um, so just by going and actually re reading. Scratching beneath the circus of one info whore. And this fact that it actually started with Mike Rivero. And then you see the info whore links, you see the Washington Post links, and you see the back to and you see where it's all coming from. 
and 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 I, I refuse to believe that nobody in Infowars can do this. Mike Rivero can't do this. UK Column can't do this and decipher how because because they've got a dog in the fight. They want to report the sensationalised bullshit of this because they've got a dog in the fight in the Swedish elections because they are handlers are pushing them in that direction. Well, they're useful idiots or not, who knows? Um, but anyway, Mike Rafferro, he's just the bear. The Gateway Pundit, dumb as a brick, and I got a nasty email from the Brick Coalition for this. Chelsea Clinton celebrates the new Shira yeah, Right, so that's what's happening in Sweden. Milk, a hate symbol. No, not really. It's retardation. It's information put out and then weaponized by the people who are out there weaponizing it. Making people fucking get their knickers in a twist and all that over milk. A bit of sweet. Yeah, America first, Britain first. Did you hear in Sweden, the milk, milk is white supremacist? What kind of... I, I, suggest, I, I suggest Tommy Robinson goes on a road trip and investigate that in Sweden. Fucking waste of space, wee twat that he is. Hope him and that SOS, SOS, SAS guy have a fight. Anyway, um... Here fits in. The European economy. Don't need even. I'm, I'm, I, what I'm showing is the direct correlation between ISIS attacks, the, indep the, the apparent independent media, who all they want to do is get people to care about their own countries and to s defeat globalism, while uh, all the time pointing at other parts of the world, meddling in other people's national elections. <laughs> Can they make a shirt up? The 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 the, the, the double standards or the hypocrisy is unbelievable. So what's happened in Germany? In Germany, like everywhere else, hung parliaments. Nobody's really in charge. Chaos. Uh, is the left in charge? Who knows? Is the right in charge? Who knows? Everybody's fighting left versus right. Chaos getting fermented. Nobody's in charge. Who do you blame? Ah, plausible deniability everywhere. Um, and this is the controlled chaos, the controlled burn, I do believe. Um, anyway, uh, and again, this is something, a pattern I've been pointing out and been on the ball for some time. It coincides with the, how the wag the dog the media has been brought to the internet and how your time is better served saving yourself, filling the holes in your own boat instead of trying to save the world or save everybody else. Projecting your lack of control in your own life onto others, uh, or through onto other like causes, fruitless causes that you, you know deep down you could never really actually achieve. But those things, if you put so much, effort, maybe, maybe, just maybe, if we put those that energy and a trying to solve shit in our own life, f filling in holes in our own boat, maybe. There would be more boats in the world and more life rafts for everybody to get on. Um, so I just wanted to point out what was happening in Germany there. Um, Broadcasting the information the mainstream media won't touch. This is the Richie Allen Show in association with DavidIke.com. Theresa May is the Prime Minister of this country. And... She's a twonk. <laughs> I heard that term recently. Twonk. I like it. I heard it. Oh, did you not coin it there, Richie? Like the truth for industrial complex, you fat shilling bastard. Kid use it on the street just outside her house. A twonk. She's a twonk. May has been claiming that Moscow... Number one independent radio show in Europe. It's not independent, though. No. It's sponsored by David Icke has been meddling in elections and has carried out cyber espionage. It can't be independent if it wouldn't report on David Icke being a raging paedophile if it had evidence of that. None of it wouldn't, it can't, because David Icke funds the whole operation. None of these accusations are, are, of course, new. We've been hearing them for months and months and months ever since the result of the election in America last year. Now, last night, she was at the Lord Mayor's Banquet in London. 
It was at the Guild Hall. And May accused Moscow of putting fake stories. This is hilarious. The irony here could choke a chicken, could choke a million chickens. She's accused Moscow of planting fake stories to sow discord <coughs> in the West. She accused Putin's government of undermining free societies. And, and this guy cannot consider an iota of that to be true. And that's how I know he's shilling like a villain. He, he's either a useful idiot or just a... Like, does sound like a dumb, lisping, Irish, dumb-ass motherfucker. Not only should he be saying, POTATO! He looks a bit like a hollowed-out potato as well. And then he's probably... He's, he must have teeth like a potato with the lisping bastard that he is. And then a brain like a potato to... Yes, yeah, the most independent radio show in Europe. Independent! Sponsored by David Icke. What a muppet. Theresa May. <laughs> yeah, what a muppet. What a muppet. Um, yeah, mate. And you can't consider for one iota that Russia has a dog in their geopolitical fight, just like Britain does in Russia. Just like Britain will meddle in Russia's uh, elections, and Britain will meddle in China's elections, and. We're, we are all so happy to consider, and not only consider, but confirm that with this book, that book, and this conspiracy, and that conspiracy. And I'm not saying you're wrong to do that, but then not even have the, uh, the ball hair of fucking... The, of openness and objectivity to consider Russia might be doing that. Leads me to believe you're just either a fucking open Russian agent, or you're just stupid. Probably the latter. Useful idea, stupid. Trump has said he doesn't believe the Russians have interfered. CIA retired... Trump said that it must be true. Marines ...have been on national television in the United States, and they have said it didn't happen there either. The CIA but said anyway, it must be true. In the interest of... For those who haven't heard the audio... This is what Theresa May had to say. Russia has fomented conflict in the Donbass and mounted a sustained campaign of cyber espionage and disruption. This has included meddling in elections and hacking the Danish Ministry of Defence and the Bundestag, among many others. It is seeking to weaponize information, deploying its state-run media organisations to plant fake stories and photoshopped images in an attempt to sow discord in the West and undermine our institutions. What a load of bollocks! And that's the meaning of life. Anyway, that's how you know he's shown like a villain because he doesn't understand. He's um, not got the open, the objectivity to consider that for a second. When the debate I was showed you a couple of weeks ago in Chatham House, even with a Russian member of parliament, wouldn't even go as far as him and go, What a load of rubbish! Russia would never do anything like that. He's aware that Russia are doing these things through bullcrap means but this guy's inability to even consider it for a second or the smallest amount of it leads you to know he's either a useful idiot or a straight up agent then she said this it is russia's actions which threaten the international order ah. on which we all depend so i have a very simple message for russia we know what you are doing and you will not succeed Oh, she said order. New world order. Oh, what? Piss your pants, Richie. Oh. 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 The Russians must be shitting themselves. Of course, the international order part of that. We've heard that one before. 
And that's what it's really all about. Commentators today were saying... And Russia aren't trying to challenge it. It's about May's failing government. May looking to pick a fight because she's in dire straits as leader of the Conservative Party. And Prime Minister, there might be some truth to some of that, but it's really about international order. The order of things, the new world order. If we say you are doing that which we don't like, we don't have to prove it. We can just say that you are doing it and then we can we can imposition you. We can impose on you sanctions. We can even operate within your borders. We've talked about this, of course, at great length on previous programmes. Now, the actor Joe Pesci, you remember Joe Pesci from Goodfellas and Casino? He had this to say about Theresa May a short time ago. You know you're a lying, low-life mother. And I don't know what he's trying to do, inject some comedy there or something, I don't know. Richie, Richie, you're not funny, my friend. Uh, anyway, and it's laughable that you can't even consider for a second uh, uh, RT. <laughs> Russia Today, I mean, like, do you ever wonder why France 24 has an English-speaking fucking news outlet? Uh -huh, just to speak to the French. No, you dumb fucking wanker. Do you ever understand why fucking um, Radio Liberty and all that, uh, like, BBC broadcast in other languages, you dickwad? So you, you, you can't s see the boot on the other foot and understand why Russia Today, broadcast by the Russian state, broadcast in English? Fucking unthinking idiot. So that's Itchy Richie. Here's a subway thing. I don't really want to play any clips other than just touch on it. Let's see if again... Maybe there'll be stuff there, who knows. Let's see again if there's going to be hundreds of esoteric... No, oh, there's a... Fuck, I just say that and there's a 44 bounce up. But I don't know about that. 44 missing crew. See, I knew that like people will be all over these numbers and all that. Um, and remember, numbers are like... Numbers, you can pretty much make them say anything, whether it actually means anything or not. It's a different argument. Um, but I just wanted to throw that in. And then let's get a... Let's go through a prisoner of our own mind. Right, this is just some of the examples of the shite that people are fucking peddling out there, starting with Fat Man Jones himself. Let's see how quick we can see Alex Jones, how it takes him to kind of his old self to contradict his new self. The head of Sun Microsystems, worth tens of millions of dollars, co-owner, Bill Joy, countless others have said, we designed this to hurt you, we designed this to dehumanize you, we designed this to make you obsolete. We've been in meetings with the top billionaires. You gotta fear the globalists and the robots and the robot globalists. And the globalist robots and the robot and the batteries and the, the powerpoints who are senior to us, and they've made the decision to basically take over and kill everybody. Yep, no matter the saying, they just gotta kill everybody. Yep, the decision we made. They've been developing this one world religion around eternal life and life extension. I made a film, Blueprint for Global Enslavement. Ten years ago, off their admissions then. I warned you that it was going to happen two years ago, ten years ago. Now I'm warning you that it's going to happen two years ago, two years from now. Of how they would bring in this plan. The controlled cities, the self-driving cars, the attack on the family. It's all in the film. It's free. You must watch it. Hey, guys, attention just for a second. I just need to tell you that... A group just met here in Canada, and they're trying to get rid of your sovereignty, merging you with the U.S. and Mexico. See, it, it, it's not funny. I'm serious. And your news isn't going to tell you about this. this they're not laughing at what you're talking about. They're laughing at they're standing in the middle of a public sp space, and then a fat fucking Texan bounces up and starts talking about all this shit. See if you engage them in a more productive level instead of a shock, jock, fat, comfy Texas way. Mm, you might not get this, <laughs> but you were after that kind of. You see him; he's kind of like the Daz doorstep challenge. It's 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 the candid camera effect they're looking for. This is deadly serious. So I'm just letting you know, and I'm telling you about it. As they say, they are the guys that run the world. They make the decisions for 
away and we just carry it out. Sir, did you hear about the Bilderberg Group meeting here in town? The 120 most elite people in the world? No. No, 120 of some of the elite people in the world. A particular group of elite people in the world. Uh, a particular group that you've set out to demonize who you're getting paid for people that aren't members of that group, let's see. Hey, do you know that the elites meeting here in town right now? Have you heard about it? Hey, do you know that you've just poked your fat face in a public bus and cunts are like, I'm going to work and what the fuck are you, what? Do you know, look, there's a kid with balloons in there and all that and, wow, shock, jock, candid camera tactics. Funny crime bosses? None of you heard of it. None of you guys have heard of the Bilderberg Group? They're meeting right now. In the city, around 10% of the people were aware of the New World Order agenda. When we traveled to Parliament, close to half of the people we randomly spoke to were informed. Let's say that back then, the New World Order agenda was to stoke fear and civil unrest and uh, bring confidence down in existing institutions to bring around the new but they would use Orwellian talk and say that was to bring down the New World Order. But it's ultimately to bring around a New World Order. Hmm. So, so simple, but yet it's almost like saying up is down, left is right, war is peace. We are the good guys and they're the bad. Man, what did you say about the American Union? It's, it's, it's going to end up happening. We don't want it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> Why do you think? Because the Bilderberg Group runs the world. You have the Trilateral Commission that's also part of the Bilderberg, which is the uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. But most of this is public knowledge. Nobody wants to believe that there are conspiracies, uh, that yeah. world leaders are already elected before they're voted on. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on, this was post-Trump. Yeah, but obviously Trump is real. Everybody before and after Trump is fake. Trump's real, man. He's just sitting there fighting for us small guys, arts, Christians, gun-loving, Bible-fearing, God-loving, God-gun-loving, tangy-tangerine, drinking, God-fearing. <laughs> Quinky dinks. Uh, so here we know that Bernard Lord uh, is part of the Outer Circle. Um, I, I was surprised to... Yeah! The Bilderberg select all presidents until Trump. We know there was... We know there was election fraud, fraud but Trump won, Mike. To read that uh, Harper addressed the group in 2003. They've got the new name of it. Oh, they just came up with it. No, they've been cooking this up for decades. Look! The robot. Look, the Daily Mail online just tells you lies. The mainstream media lies to you. They're now telling you the truth, and it is real. They fear real. That Dubai's already ordered. That's going to replace their police force. Is literally seven feet tall and is almost identical to the THX one one three eight robot. Look at this. Oh my God! Oh my God! Saudi Arabia have brought out a robot that, that can't really do anything right now. Or anything. Pretty much like a uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty much like R two D two in the seventies, uh, but it looks like a robot from a film. Severe TV viewer, look at this right here. Look, look at this right here. This is the THX one one three eight robots. This is the TH three three X, and as you can see, Fat Man fucking Jones can't. Uh, TV viewers, you can see Fat Man's Jones scribbled down the model of the robot to the right hand side because the fat can't. It's teleprompter free, you see? Teleprompter free. I just have it all written down in front of me. I don't need any words. I just write it all down. Read it all up. I, just, I don't have a teleprompter. I have it in front of me, man. And look, it's on a Based film. off research that George Lucas did. In his look, it was on the BBC. First film. He's nearly seven foot tall. Doesn't look seven foot tall there. 
He's got eyes and all that, but uh, I don't know, it just looks like a genetic robot, but so did George Lucas film. Man, we're in a lot of trouble, folks. <laughs> they are telling you they're coming. They're telling you what they're doing. And I'm just here warning you. I'm here just begging. Chicken fucking little. You. I'm not anti-technology. I'm not anti-smartphone. But I don't like it tracking me and spying on me and listening to me and selling my data and being... Stop sticking it up your butt then. ...being a government spy. Stop eating them then, fat man. Maybe that's why he's got square tits. But they always spin it. Oh, you're against vaccines, you're against science. No, I'm against the genetic engineering you're doing through them. Here's the documents. I'm not against the phone. I'm against paying for all the stuff in it that tracks me and controls me. They've already got the self-driving car stuff in all the new cars. They're just not even telling you. Anyway. So, um, I, and remember, all presidents are selected, not elected, but there was election fraud, but Trump won. I think that's how they confuse you into not questioning Trump getting elected. Anyway, uh, prisoner of your own mind, uh, what would happen if you stuck a lit firework up your butt and it exploded? Welcome to the Daily Sheepo. Let's uh, ask uh, what would happen if an asteroid hit the Earth? What would happen if the Yellowstone supervolcano went, went off? What what would happen? Let's spend our life worrying about what would happen if apocalyptic events happened. What would happen if people didn't spend all their life worrying about what would happen if apocalyptic events would happen? They would have more life time to concentrate on more productive things in their own life about things that are more likely to happen than apocalyptic events. That if they do happen, you don't really get much to fucking say other than click your, uh, stick your dick head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Anyway, there's uh, more uh, prisoner of your own mind. Um. Okay, so from shit, what was that fucking apocalyptic bullshit? That was a uh, Yellowstone. Right, let's see how. In fact, let me do a uh, Bukanki. Homer Simpson here. It's a very. Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for the Hey everybody, Homer Simpson here. Oh. The Daily Sheeple.com and this is your new shot. SHDFplan.com asks a very important question considering where we are in these United States of America. They ask, what would happen to the world if the Yellowstone supervolcano erupted? What would happen if the dinosaurs got resurrected and then started interbreeding with biological gun creatures and then they grew dino there was a biological malguing between guns and dinosaurs and we had dino guns and the dinos on dino guns could just interbreed with each other and then they would beat bigger dino guns then we would get super dino gunosaurus what would happen ah! now you as well think about that I mean, at least you could maybe go and make a cartoon or sell that in Netflix. Dino Gunnosaurus. I think that's a good one, actually. Guns. Think about it, right? The human beings take AI and man and mix it together. They make gun men bots. And then the men gun bots can breed with dino babies and make dino gun bots. Oh, beautiful! Welcome to the Daily Sheeple.com. I look like Homer Simpson, and I'm going to give you a million of things that you really never going to fucking answer to think about today. Welcome to your shot. You might as well. You, 
You, it's more productive to actually take a tequila shot than it is to listen to the Daily Sheepo. <laughs> or maybe go and ask some your own questions. I don't know, how end games exposed, the biggest exposure ever since things were exposed. And there's more Yellowstone getting exposed. And the apocalypse of me, yes! Hello! Hey everybody! Hey everybody! And hey everybody! New shot. So the sun over in the UK. Yes, the iron. Yeah, hey everybody! Homer Simpson here, hoping to get away with a story from the sun without people from the UK commenting on it's from the fucking sun. Moving on, I look like Homer Simpson, and welcome to the Daily Sheeple. Is telling everyone. How one of the largest um, scientific um, uh, the sun is telling us uh, maybe coulda woulda shoulda and again dino babies with guns something that, that biological gun baby gun dino cunts cunts with teeth with guns that. Biological mutate and a dino baby gun cunt grabbers. I don't know. Might as well, might as well be talking about that. Might as well. In fact, it's actually a wee bit more creative. Might as well be creative and make up your own shite. Just make up your own shite about fucking shite upon shite about layer shite on shite, and you'll come up with something. What, what more worthy exercise than listening to the Daily Sheeple who's parroting fucking shite from the fucking sun who God only knows what their agenda is about parroting that shite if it's not just to get you to eat your own shite while you're running around in circles of shite. Uh, anyway, prisoner of your own mind. Not to mention the fact that this earthquake was very shallow, <laughs> only 33 miles below the surface of the earth. Right, the 33 does apparently seem to come up in media more often than not, right? One of the things is maybe it's a secret code or maybe it's a coincidence that 33 is a, a numeric, is like a third, if that makes sense. And sometimes when scientists are best guessing and rounding up and down and shit like that, a third is, I don't really know. Um, but he. Congratulations on your retirement. Two weeks and you're a free man. A serious accident just occurred at the San Jose mine. Say something, I'm getting. I'm gonna get copyright over you. Anyway, 33 in the media. Beware of the 33. Or. Don't give a shit or give these numbers the power. Right, here's a number, any old random number. Fucking. Uh, fuck, I'm trying to think of one that hasn't been used. 303. I don't think that's been used anymore. I'm going to make that the esoteric, goddess, biblical, cock number of worshipful status in Estonia, right? Um. Right, so worship the 303. Now I'm going to try and propagate 303 as some sort of a magical, mystical number and get cunts to bow down to it and think it's some sort of a great thing. And get them to make up rumours about it and all that. Are you going to give it that power? Or are you just going to go, that cunt just said a number and now he's making up stories about a number? Does that mean these stories haven't been propagated for some time? But the original person was just... Propagating a number, or these numbers have some meaning in new uh, mathematics, numerology, stuff like that, code, so on and so forth. Anyway, sorry, let's get to the Daily Sheeple. So, hey everybody, JoJo. Hey here everybody. Sheeple.com, and this is your new. Hey everybody, and this is your tequila shot that probably killed more brain cells than a shot of tequila. Um, right, let me just look at this. So what have we got from him? We've got Yellowstone, uh, the apocalypse, because scientists say so. Now we've got the plague. Plague's coming back at you. Thank you, Joe Joseph. Oh, 
God, man. Right. This stuff upsets me, right? Uh, transgender, transhuman crime, chimera and all that, right? That's the worst case scenario, the transhuman agenda and all that worst case scenario. Um, best case scenario, all they're doing is trying to sell you shit. All they're doing is trying to take a market space where there was only one. Biatches, aka women who wore makeup. Uh, and they wanted to expand their market, so they had to expand that market by either making guys gay or making straight guys into makeup. And bingo, boom, shakalaka, you now have freaks that look like this. And I'm sorry, I want the ability to call this guy out for looking like a freak. If they take the ability away for you to express your human emotion, I'm thinking that isn't, I, I don't like the look of that. It looks freakish and fucking bizarro to me. Not because it's a guy. I think women who look like that look freakish and bizarro as well. I express this all the time. This isn't a sexist thing or anything. Uh, if these freaks want to go and to fucking be freaks, batter the fuck in. I want, you, want, you want the freedom to fucking be that, like a freak like that. I want the freedom to call you a fucking freak. That's um, my moral compass. That's how my moral compass works. Uh, and, and, and how I don't have double standards. Um, and I know where I'm coming from when I say this is freakish. This is getting created by Edward Bernays PR mother advertising motherfuckers. Again, at best, to sell you more products. And at worst... A transsexual, transhuman, cry, cry mirror. Yes, you may laugh at it, but think of the Baphomet. Um, so, yeah, there's a couple of perspectives. There's my sort of a best, and, best case and worst case scenario. Maybe yours is different. Maybe you just think guys want to express themselves by dressing up like the, this freak here. And I'm sorry that I believe this is created, again, to sell you shit, or to sell you product, make other people money, or to turn you into a freakazoid. Or maybe it's both. Who knows? And I want the freedom to be able to express that. Uh, I'm sure this is a nice guy and all that, uh, but I would express this these feelings to him uh, if I had to spend time around him. I wouldn't. I, oh. Anyway, sorry. Pfft, I'm not even going to watch any of it, man, but imprison you your own mind. Um, at the moment, it's, it's... Where else did that white genocide come up? I'm trying to remember now. There was a white genocide that came up before, wasn't there? Was it Mike Rivero? Was it some of the Swedish shit? Ah, I can't even remember. I'm having a brain fart. But anyway, I'm pretty sure... Ah, anyway, there was some white genocide earlier on. And now it's bouncing up. Um. It's expressing itself something terrible in South Africa. The rate of rape and murder and what have you is just phenomenal. You know, I saw some of those papers. Right. Um, so you're again, you're getting f um, info whores shining the light on South African nationalists. Steve Pachenik. Two major forces. I'm not going to play it because I think it's one big psyop with the music he plays, the clips he plays, the words he uses, and what he puts out. And it's definitely there to control, it's definitely there to have an influence in the information war. Interesting information. I don't want to watch it more than I want to. Uh, Boris Johnson's dad, Stanley Johnson. He's turned up. 
and I'm a celebrity. Uh, I know this because I watch it on occasions. Um, research purposes only. Um, Boris Johnson's our foreign sec secretary over in Syria and whatnot. There's Turkey inside Syria and stuff. Origins in early life. This is uh, Boris Johnson's dad. Stanley was born in 1940 in Penzance, Cornwall, the son of Osman uh, Kemmo Wilfred Johnson and Irene William, uh, daughter of Stanley F. Williams of Bromley, Kent, by his marriage to Marie Louise de Pefefel or Ferry. Oh, fuck, I'm not even going to attempt to say that shit, but you can read it all there. The interesting one is Osman. Osman bin Laden. He's a son of Osman bin Laden. Nah, I'm, I'm only joking. His uh, parental grandfather, Ali Kemal, so um, Boris Johnson's great-grandfather, his father's grandfather, uh, was one of the last interior... I blew me away when I heard this. And here has you... Here's to me, you have the British links, even in the establishment to this day, to World War One, World War Two, and trying to de colonize and bring into the British Crown sphere of influence this area of the world through using people that were already in the uh, excellencies of the elite of the Ottoman Empire as that was getting brought down f f using World War One, and then the the ultimately nailing the coffins of the rest of the we blobs of influence was World War Two, um, and his grandfather was Al Khalmini, one of the last interior ministers of the Ottoman Empire government, uh, who was assassinated during the Turkish War of Independence, um, and I'm not, I dare say he was assassinated because he wasn't a part of the sort of a tug of war during the Turkish War of Independence and go and look into that with a sceptical head on and look at the British influence in the Turkish War of, Inf uh, the Turkish war of in Independence. I mean, it's fucking unbelievable. And now Boris Johnson's a foreign secretary. Wow, wee man, anyway. Um, and with, with the influence to fucking bomb shit in that area in the world, unbelievable. But Stanley's father was born... Uh, Osman Wilfred Kemal or uh, Osman Ali in England in Bournemouth at the time of the County of Hampshire in 1909. His Anglo-Swiss mother, Switzerland, Sisterland, Switzerland, uh, mother Wilfred dying shortly after giving birth. Uh, after Camille returned to Turkey in 1912. Unbelievable, man. Uh, Stanley's father and aunt were brought up by their English grandmother, Margaret Braun, née Johnson, and took her maiden name, Stanley's father, becoming simply Wilfred Johnson. His marital grandparents were Herbert Fairhell von Peffel, uh, born in Munich. Uh, and you can go and read the rest of that. But anyway, it blew me away that Boris Johnson's great-grandfather was assassinated... It was an old Ottoman Empire government uh, member that was assassinated during the Turkish Civil War after the fallout of the Ottoman Empire. It blew me away! And there's wee Boris Johnson just popping up coincidentally with the power he's got here, Matt, to be Prime Minister. Anyway, that blew me away. Um, and that's all we've got time for, folks. Hopefully you've enjoyed Mass Awakening or Mass Manipulation. You make your mind up there. Um, there's Mike Rivero talking about Sweden. Um, Infowars talking about Sweden. Uh, Washington Times talking about Sweden and milk. All reporting this hearsay, conjecture. Inform they're weaponizing information, all of them. Um, apparently on different sides, but all using the same information, weaponizing it and propagating it. If you have enjoyed it, feel free to stick a wee thumbs up. It is much appreciated. Apparently it helps. Same if you can share it with friends, family, foes. Help the show grow. Please help it grow. Nobody else is going to do it. Um, you can also check out the links if you want to show any support. The Patreon and PayPal buttons down below. Feel free to do that. Big thanks to everybody that has on the Patreon and on the PayPal. Uh, the... Um, uh, 
to YouTubes, DTubes, Steam It, BitChute, social medias, Facebag, Twitter, uh, Music, Ridiculizer, YouTube and Bandcamp, Community page and the live show page all down below if you want to check it out. Um, in the evening, the artist formerly known as Tony, Blazing, Mike, Shell Owens, Undead, Truth in Doubt. Hope you have all had fun. I'll go and say hi to the rest of the chat room as well. Um, Tony, Amy Woods, how you doing, Amy? There's Mike in as well. Shell Owens, Blazing, how you doing, buddy? Uh, undead in the, in the evening. Gas mask, how you doing, my man? In the evening, I want Sheris Roslin, how you doing? How you doing, Mike? Truth and doubt, Amy. In the evening, I want and all Vadum in the evening, my man. Uh, hopefully, I've managed to say hi to one and all if I've missed you out. There's MacGyver in. How you doing, my man? Hope you're well, buddy. There was George in as well earlier, so hopefully I've managed to get these all in. If I haven't, the Illuminati is sensing you. Tune in next Tuesday for another Not The Infowars Nightly News. I'll be away over the weekend, so I'll be doing a few live streams. Hopefully tune in for then, and then the weekend following that, Sunday will be the first of the Sunday edition of I think, I don't know what it's going to exactly called. I think it'll be BBC B Newsman. A BBC B Newsman, not the info, uh, see through the fear porn. Something like that, I don't know. Working on it, but we will be doing a Sunday show. Look at the news, open up the hangout, and then sod off, basically. But we will be doing that every Sunday, so stay tuned for that. Alrighty, YouTubes. James, hey boy, how you doing? In the evening, one and all. Hopefully catch you uh, tomorrow's Wednesday reality chat. Hopefully share that. Uh, Steve shows back up and running. Hopefully that will get shared on the community page. And, and next a Monday round we'll be back to Soul Excalibur for Cookie Show as well. So stay tuned to all the social medias and whatnot for uh, all those shows. So in the evening, a one and all, I'm out of here. Catchies. It keeps the cheese and the maize and the rats and the race And those peasants in the days like a hell of a It's a real ball I keep on Keeps clear